Wow, wow, wow. Here it is, Monday morning, January 9th. Welcome, AO International New Hire Class, the first of this year, 23-001. Let's see if you can do this better than any of my other classes. How are we doing this morning? Good, how are you? Great. Doing Doing good. Good morning, Sam. Doing good. 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 Trying to figure this out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good. <laughs> Mary Frederick. Welcome back. Hi, Come glad back. to be back. Awesome. That's great. So uh we're gonna have to work on this with this class. Y'all need to pump me up in the morning, which is kind of why I listen to little guns and roses through the jungle. <laughs> Make sure everybody is muted on there. Okay, so listen. Hey, my name is Samuel Sweet. I am your course facilitator for the next two weeks. And what we're going to go through is everything to do with AO International, AO, uh, American Income Life. And the two specific markets that I'll be talking about in this course is going to be the credit union as well as the veteran market. So I Hello, welcome- can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. I cannot hear. So first of all, can people hear me? <laughs> Thumbs can, up. Okay, that's yes. awesome. All yeah, right. you're good. I can hear you. All right, so what we've got here is we've got, goodness gracious, 75 people. Subtract me out, that's 74 people showing up today. Congratulations, you are by far the largest class that we've ever had. Welcome to AO International. So like I said, we're going to go through a number of things. We're talking about American Income Life. We're going to talk about AO. We're going to talk about AO International, of which you all are part of all three. And we're going to talk about the science and the art of sales. And we're going to talk about whether or not you have experience in sales, whether or not you have experience with Uh, insurance in general, things of that nature. We're going to watch a lot of videos. We're going to use a lot of tools. This is an intensive two-week class. There is going to be a lot of practice. We're going to have breakout rooms. We're all going to work together, and I'm going to jump between those various breakout rooms to ensure that I can help you in things of that nature. So to help me, one of the first things that we need to do is if when you get a chance, I want you to change your screen name to your first name and your last name, okay? If you already have that, that's great. If you don't have that, please do that for me because uh, I've learned over time, there's no way I'm gonna remember everybody, not all 75 of you, just can't do it. Couldn't do it when there was 10 people in my class. (laughs) No, I could do it with 10, but I certainly can't do it with 75. So if you all can do that for me, that would be great. I would appreciate it. Today, what we're gonna go through is a lot of introductory information kind of walk you through all the various pieces, what the expectations of the class are, what the expectation of your field training time is, things of that nature. We're going to watch a couple of different videos, one about American income, one about uh, things like that. Thomas can't hear. Yes, he told us that he can't hear. Uh, So we'll continue to go through all the information. All of you will introduce yourselves. So basically, this is kind of the format for introductions. We're not going to do that just yet, but uh, I'll introduce myself and kind of follow this format. Hey, my name is Samuel Sweet. I'm the course facilitator for AO International. I'm a third generation insurance director. My grandfather did it for Metropolitan Life. My father did it for Allstate, and now I'm doing it for American Income. Uh, I lived and worked in Silicon Valley. Well, live in Silicon Valley. Hello, I can't hear. Thomas, the issue was on, somebody let Thomas know the issue is on his end, okay? Text him. Uh, I grew up in Silicon Valley here in California, joined the service when I was 18, went all over the world, then came back. I've worked for multiple uh, Fortune 50, Fortune 100 companies, heading up sales organizations. I've done this a very long time. I have a little bit of knowledge about sales. I'm here to impart that with you. Uh, I enjoy the insurance industry. I like taking care of people. But most importantly, what I like to do is have an impact on a sales force, which is why I'm in this role. I want to make sure that all of you can make a lot of money, integrate easily into the organization, and realize whatever your personal or financial goals are by working with us. Okay? 
All right. So that's kind of me, very nutshell, maybe a minute. That's all I'm kind of looking for. Just maybe a minute, no more than that when you introduce yourself. So I just want to know who you are, what your name is, what experience you have coming into this, whether you have no experience, whatever, that's completely fine. And then kind of what you want to get out of it. All right. So I told you what I want to get out of it, what my experience is, things of that nature. So we have a number, uh, like I said, of videos that we're going to watch. One of the I'm other on Zoom, yeah. I can see everybody. I just can't hear. One of the other things we're going to do is uh, we're going to take times where we give me a break from talking. <laughs> because as a talking head, you're going to get really tired listening to my voice. So off the course, I break it up with the breakout rooms. And I also have guest speakers come in and have conversations with us. Yeah. Give us perspective. It's got mute and unmute. Hey, whoever's talking to Thomas. No, I, I can we tell him not to unmute himself? Uh, to mute. Okay, so this is what we're going to do with Thomas. Thomas. He's now in the waiting room. Okay, so uh, that being said, I will like some of you to talk in certain times when we go through this course, maybe talk about what we just learned or what your takeaways were from certain things in order for me not to be the only person that has a conversation in this room. So by a show of hands, can I uh, uh, identify those of you who received what I call the day one email? You may have gotten it from your upline. It's a lot of things. Okay, let's try this then. So you're showing your hands. Hello, Everyone. hello. Thomas, can you hear me? No, he cannot. Okay, so yeah, everyone do it electronically when you raise your hand. So down below, you're gonna see reactions. You're able to raise your hand using a reaction, okay? I'd like you to do that. So everyone who's received the day one email, so quite a few have, that's great. Were there any attachments to that? Uh, and anybody can answer. Were there attachments to that day one email? Yes, quite a few. Yes, okay. 11. All right, awesome. So here's, here's what will happen. I am going to send you the day one email from me, okay? And that's the one that you need to use. So the one that you have may have come from one of your leaderships or whatever, uh, and that's okay. It just means that we need to update it with the one that came from me directly, okay? Hold on one second for me. You got it. Sorry, that was Thomas's uh, leadership trying to get him fixed out. Yeah, if you haven't received the email, that's completely fine. Don't, don't put your email in the chat anymore because you're going to fill out a survey that allows us to gather all that information. And then while you're watching the videos, I'm going to uh, send the email out to everybody. That'll come from me, okay? Uh, so everyone, please put your hands yeah. down. Wow, we're up to 87. That's pretty impressive. How many of you Tom, are, here, say, yeah. are here for the uh, uh, the credit? Keep my cell phone. Oh my gosh! Okay, okay. How many of you are for credit union? If your hand is digitally raised, I'm assuming you're here for the credit union, right? So I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, seventeen, give or take. Okay. So for you all, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge for me. Nothing for you to worry about. I just got a, a my method. Well, I'll explain it all later. But yes, you're going to get a separate script that'll be specific for the credit union. And when I walk through HP Pro, which is the main tool we use to present to clients, I will walk through that with you as well. Okay. So what I'm going to do is give you what's called a preliminary aptitude assessment. So I want to show you what that is and walk you through it so that you know what to expect and what to look for, okay? So let me share my screen right there. That's the preliminary aptitude assessment. You're going to get it. It'll be a link. Uh, I'll put it in the chat. And so all you got to do is click on it. You're going to give me your name, last name, email, and your phone number. 
This is how I capture all your emails. I also want your address. And I want you to put your class number. The class number is a uh, selection. You're the very first one of uh, 2023. So it'll be 23-001. And then you're going to tell me which market you're joining. Who is your uh, RGA? That's your uh, regional general agent. If you don't know, you can select unknown. You need to give me the name of your essay slash trainer. And what that means is if you don't know what an essay is, then I want the name of the person that you were told to attend the course by, right? Whoever told you to attend the course, whoever you're going to be calling once the course is over with today and reaching out to, that's the name that should be in there. I want the date that you obtained your life insurance license. And if you don't have a date, then you just leave that one blank. Do you have your health and accident license? Uh, in a lot of my other classes, quite a few people did not have their health and accident license. We will walk through that because you will need that uh, to provide the absolute value to your clients and give you the best chance of making the most money. I want to know if you have insurance coverage for you and your family. I also want to know that, uh, you know, when you practice scripts, who are you going to practice with? Either family members, friends, classmates, or other. Other would be your upline, as an example. Uh, and did you apply with the NIPR.com for your resident license or your non-resident license? If you don't know what NIPR.com is, that's completely fine. Just select no. Then the next item here is going to be your personal assessment of your confidence in these categories. Client engagement, phone calling, using Zoom to present information to others, as well as sales methodology. I'm not going to define what those four things are for you. You decide if you feel very confident, you select over here. And if you have no confidence, then you would select over here. The last thing I want to know is, do you have access to these tools, Mobile Planet, HP Pro, and eApp? If you do not have access, do not check mark them. And it's okay if you don't have access. I just want to get a sense of how well people are set up. When you're done, you're going to click Submit. Uh, it'll probably ask you to review. You need to click the review so you can look at your answers and then click Submit. Now, because there's so many of you, let's do this. Do I have, uh, actually, everyone put your hands down electronically, please. Do I have any questions about filling out that form? How do I even get to that form? So I'm going to send it to you in the chat. I'm going to do that right now. And we do this throughout the course. There'll be a lot of uh, forms that we fill out. So this is called the, um, what is it? The preliminary aptitude assessment what is the rga that's a regional general agent that would be the highest person that uh is in your hierarchy if you don't know who that is just go ahead and click on unknown okay that'll be part of your homework is to ask your upline who is your rga okay samuel yes this is tom i just got on i've been lip reading you for about 10 minutes now uh, I think I, I get where you're at. You just sent over a link in the chat box. I see it there. Is this supposed to be done now? Is this supposed to be done for homework? No, you can do that now. It's just a simple preliminary aptitude assessment. It gathers all the information that I need about you. I got Actually, you. The fact that I don't know a bunch of you were going to attend the course, and so I don't have any of your information. This allows me to gather all the information. Gotcha. No problem. Okay. Excuse um, me. Excuse yeah. me, I didn't get the email and I gave you my email. I'm sorry? I didn't get the email that you sent, but I gave you my email address on, on right. the chat. So what you need to do is fill out that survey and your email will be in there. And then once I get every one of you to submit your uh, aptitude assessment, I will gather all your emails and I will send out one email one time with all the information, okay? Where's the survey at though? Where's the survey at? Uh, Javis, am I saying your name correctly? Yes, yes, Javis. Javis, are you on your cell phone or are you on your computer? Cell phone. Yeah, if you're on your cell phone, there is a chat function. And in that chat function, you can click on it and it will have the link. And then you can click on the link and fill out the chat. It is available through your cell phone. Oh, I see it. I see it. I see it. Okay, awesome. And also, I what do you, what do you mean by life accident? Because I think I because I got my insurance license right, 
back in April of 2022. Mm -hmm. And I was working for this other company, but but like I stopped doing it because it made me pay for leads and stuff. So uh -huh. like I and I had life and accident on on my insurance thing because I was doing um I was I think I was doing like like oh like um wait I'm not too sure though yeah that's what I have it on there yeah yeah Javis what the uh accident and health license is the ability to sell those types of products I don't know what license you have so that's why I ask you do you have that you're the one that needs to look at your license and know whether or not you can sell um accident and health okay yeah hey I have a question now um uh... I took the studies. Uh, hold, and I hold on one second. Hold on one second, Tiffany. Uh, Timothy, right? I right. appreciate that. What I need you to do is raise your hand kind of uh, electronically because okay. I have a bunch of people in front of you and that way I can make oh. sure I get to you, okay? Anthony, right. Anthony, what do you got for me? Hey, yeah, thanks for taking my question. Um, so as far as if I have my license and that number, um, just quick... I took the exam, I passed it, I applied, but I know I'm in that waiting period. So would I click yes or no for that? Well, when I you took the test, did you did you I, did you did you take the test for the accident and health for your state? Yes, I did. I took the license. Okay, so then you would say yes. Okay. That you have it. You just haven't received it yet, okay? Okay, thank you. That's all I was asking. All right. Yeah, and then uh I'm so sorry. Was it Timothy? You can bring it back now. What do you got for me? Uh yeah, I, I took the uh I passed the exam for the Texas Life and Health, and so uh on this uh, application here, that do you have yes. that, do you, okay say yes yeah okay. absolutely congratulations for passing the exam that's awesome okay uh now uh enter your name or your essay training do I just put on own right now well who's the person that told you to attend the course. Uh -huh. Oh, uh, Leon is his name. I, yeah, I, then I, put I, his I, name in there. Is it okay. Eddie Leon? Yeah, yeah, I think so. How you spell it? Yeah, then type in Eddie Leon's name. That's perfectly fine. Okay, Eddie Leon. All right. Uh -huh. All right. The Singh, what do you got for me? Apreet, you're on mute. That's one of the first things we're going to learn as a class is when I call on you, you got to be able to know how to manipulate the mute button. All right, so sorry about that. Um, <laughs> okay. I came in a little late because of the time zone uh, differences. I'm in California. Um, uh -huh. So I heard a little bit and I went on to the chat and um, I didn't find any um, form for me to sign. Okay. okay. So there's a link. Go ahead and click on that and fill it out for me. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. Ranak Patel, what can I do for you? Hi. Um, okay. So for the which, uh, you're joining which market? Is it just credit union? I'm doing both markets. Um, for the form, for the oh, for the form, you're going to put in which market that you were hired to work in initially. Oh, okay, so if it's All credit right. union, you're going to put credit union, you can only pick one. Okay, okay, sounds good. All right, any other questions from anybody? Yeah, I got a question. Uh, you didn't raise your hand. I'm so sorry, we got to work on that. The, the electronic version is it Randy? Yeah, hey, Randy. Where's, how do you do that exactly? How do you do what? Uh, raising the hand electronically. Oh, what yeah. Down at the reactions? bottom of your Zoom screen, there should be reactions. I got it. There you go. Okay, awesome. You can raise your hand. Yeah, for everybody, it just helps me. Then, then I can see yeah, everyone yeah. who has a question, okay? You got it. Apri, uh, you don't longer have a question, so you can lower your hand. Uh, Javis, do you have a question? Um, I had a question, right? Um. I was licensed to do um, like insurance agent, like life insurance broker agent, but I don't think I'm not, I'm licensed, like I'm licensed as an agent, right? But I never did credit union before. I'm well, licensed as an insurance agent. Yeah, I understand that. This is the market is a credit union market or it's a veteran market, but we do actually sell insurance. That's why you're here. Yeah. So which market did they tell you you're going to work in? Who, sh who sh should I speak speak that about? Well, you got recruited by somebody and they put you in yeah. this class, right? Who was that? I got recruited by um, John Curry, Mr. John Curry. And, okay. And, 
And did that John Curry me. tell you what market you would be working in? Let me write that down because I'm going to call him. Can I text him? Yeah. Okay, hold on, Just, please. Yeah, hold go ahead and ask him. Re, uh, uh, I don't know how to pronounce this name. Wait a minute. Let me give it a shot. Rionin? Am I even close? Sort of. <laughs> Rhiannon. Rhiannon. Okay, what yes. do you got for me, Rhiannon? Okay, so I have my Texas license insurance number. Does that go into the the NIPR or is that something completely separate that I'm going well, to Well, once you have for? your, okay. So if you didn't use NIPR to create your residence license, what you can then do is uh, register with NIPR, download the app to your phone, and then you can start applying for non-resident licenses because all of you have the ability to work in 48 different states. Perfect. If you get licensed in those states, I can walk you through later on the course exactly how to do that. Okay. Okay. So initially we will put no. Correct. If Well, you're in Texas, right? And did yes. you get your, your, uh, sorry, your accident health license in Texas? Yes. Okay. Then you would put yes. Okay. Right. Oh, you're asking, did you use NIPR? That would be a no. Yeah. Okay. Right. We're on the okay. same page. Randy, okay. did you have another question? I'm in Texas as well. And I'm sorry, Randy. Uh, uh, you got to hold on for me because I don't oh, see sorry, you. That's okay. Uh, Randy, did yeah. you have a question? Yeah, I'm looking at the form right now and uh, it's asking, please enter the class number. Uh, I'm not sure if you already uh, told us, but I have a problem. It's 23 001. It's a drop down list, right? Yeah, and then it says you're joining which market? Yeah, so are you so the markets that are available are include credit union and veteran? Which one did they have you join? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, who's your upline? The RGA or, or anybody who's the person that told you to attend the course? Uh, Mark Touche. Okay, so put veteran in there for me, okay? Veteran, okay. Yep. Timothy Sanders, what do you got for me? I have one more. Uh, and so there's I'm a sorry, Randy, go ahead. So it's asking for the class number twice. This time you have to type it in. Um, and it's Yeah, just type in 23-001. There must be a problem with the app. I'll fix that later. Okay, okay. but it's 23-001. And the trainer would be the same person that referred you to the actual... Uh, yeah, for now, just the person, once you are done today, they will probably tell you, hey, we want you to work with John Smith, right? That would be the person going forward that you would put down as your trainer. Okay? And, the date, and the date you obtained your life insurance, that's the date that you passed the, the exam, correct? Yeah, that's fine. And, and, or close to that, somewhere in that neighborhood. And if you don't have your license, then you would leave it blank. Okay, no problem. All right. Timothy Sanders, what do you got for me? Uh, yes, uh, I am. Uh, I just submitted the application and stuff like that. And then they were talking about create your own job form. I don't mess with that door. No, you don't have to do anything there. You're totally fine. All right. All right. Thank Princess, you. I love the first name. What can I do for you? <laughs> yeah, thank Hi. you. Can you hear me? Yes, Princess, I can hear you, but your camera's not on. I can't see you. I'm having issues with that, but I will get that fixed. So okay. I think I can like get out and come back in um but i had a quick question i already submitted it um then you started saying something about the nipr i'm not really sure but i got my license in texas well so the nipr is the national insurance producers registry if you didn't use it it's totally fine i'm going to show you how to use it in the future to obtain a license in a state other than uh the first one you got so you're in texas I think you that was because I, I was under a, a broker I low key okay. kind of am. So I, I'm not sure if they did it through the NIPR, but I know I'm, <clears throat> I'm licensed in other states. Okay, awesome. So what we'll do is we'll go through that together later on in the course, okay? Okay. All right. Thank you. Absolutely. Morgan Serrano. I know I got that one right. What can I do for you? Um, sorry, I had to unmute. Um, mine will not let me submit it without clicking that I have access to these tools. Okay, so then the you have access to those tools. Well, if you know you don't have access, though, get with your upline once class is done today and let them know that, hey, I don't have access to these tools. They will then tell you 
or work with you in order to get access to some of them. And we can't give you access to EF formally until you get your license uh, submitted and then you sign a contract. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. So should I just click one of these so that I can see? Yeah, just it click one then... of them. Yeah, okay. just click EF. Yeah. If, if all, all else right. fails, click EF yeah, because I know very few people have access to EF. Yeah, okay. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Javish, what can I do for you? Um, I'm asking, right? What is the class number? Oh, that's right, because you're on your phone, right? Javish, just to let you know, it's going to be almost impossible for you to attend the entire class on your phone because there's so much work, work that we do on the computer. I have so, a laptop with me right now. I'm sorry? I have my laptop with me. Oh, okay. The class number is 23-001. You're in the first class of the new year, okay? Yeah, I just spoke to my, to Mr. Eric Sander, right? He told me I'm working in the life insurance veteran market. Veteran, there you go. So pick veteran. Thank you, yeah. Javis. Glad you got that my, figured out. Who's my RGA? Did you ask that person that you talked to who your RGA is? Let me ask, I'll ask him. There and you they go. Ask, they asked me for my SA trainer. Who's my SA trainer? That person that you just talked to, put his name down. Mr. Alexander? Yeah, absolutely. All right. All right, thank you, sir. Nick Ferrara. I know I said that right, right? Perfect. <laughs> um, I, I don't know who my, uh, my RGA trainer is. I've been working with uh, Francisco Perez, brought me on. I've been working with B Begonia Patino. So my... Francisco Perez is your RGA and Begonia is your trainer. Okay. So when I go to that drop down menu, Francisco is not right. on here. He's not? Uh -uh. Well, then put unknown. Okay. Okay. But I know who that is. All right. Uh, Goodness, we've got to get through the questions so we can move on. Uh, Bridget Corgol, what can I do for you? Um, I'm just confirming that um, if you don't know how to use or don't have um, the ability to use like the mobile plan or HP Pro, you just confirm that with like your trainer? Yes. Okay. Kaylee Hobbs, what can I do for you? Hi, so my question isn't actually about the form, but you mentioned that you have to get licensed and then fill out the contract. My guy, Eric, he sent me the contract. I filled it out. I'm not approved for my license yet, even though my fingerprints are in and all. No, I'm sorry, maybe I misspoke. You, you can definitely do it the way you did it, but you can't get an agent number, which then means access to the eApp application until you have your license and your contract signed. Okay, so it's good. It's okay yeah, that it I. It doesn't matter what order that's in. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Rough one's doing the right thing. Caesar Issa, what can I do for you? Caesar, if you're talking to me, you're muted because I cannot hear you. Sorry about that. That's all right. Uh, I'm on my cell phone today. So would I be able to continue the class today on my cell phone? Yeah, because you're you're listening in and I'll show you some videos and stuff like that. I'm just saying starting tomorrow, we're going to be doing some intensive computer work. So anybody who's trying to do it on a cell phone is going to find it extraordinarily difficult. Okay, and one more thing. Um, I haven't, yeah, passed, my I haven't passed my test yet, uh -huh. but I was still uh, told to um, attend. Yeah, that's fine. You, you're scheduled to take it, I'm assuming? Yes. Okay. Yeah, no, you're fine. All right, thanks. Yep, Kedrick. Hunt, what can I do for you? Uh, I love it. The best hey, question. Um, Kedrick, I uh, can't uh, see you. There you are. What's up? What can I do for you? My question is on the on the form. I know you said that if you don't have access to them, then you don't put anything. But no, it's not the page. Let me continue. Yeah, so what I want you to do is click on eApp. If any of you don't have access or, you know, have access, whatever, just click eApp if it's not working, okay? Because I know virtually all of you don't have access to eApp. Okay. All right, Kedrick, congratulations. It looks like you were the last question that I had. It looks like Princess Morgan and Javis have their hands up, and so does Caesar. So if you guys can put your hands down, if you don't have a question, that'd be great. 
Because then I question. can move on. I have a question. I'm so sorry. Who's this? Precious. Oh, hey. I my hand was up. Oh, no, it's not up. I can't see you either, Precious. <laughs> Precious. My apologies. Oh, I'm trying to. Precious. I'm on the form, but I'm trying to switch back over. Okay. What can I do for you? Um, on the form, if I just passed my test and I completed my NIPR and I haven't received my license, so what what do I write for the date? You would write the date you passed the test. Oh, okay. And, yeah, absolutely. Congratulations. And, thank you. It's accident help. Here, honey. It's um health accident and license um in life. Okay. So, so I put yes or no? Yes, you would put yes. You have okay. both. Okay. Okay, I only have two people with hands raised. I think Those we're right? at the end of our initial questions. Javis, what can I yes. do for you? I just texted Mr. Eric, right? To ask him who's my RGA like, do you know Mr. Mr. John Curry? Yeah. Yeah, like they told me, right? I'm 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 life insurance and Veteran, right? Yes. And they, told, they told me that. Do you know, do you think by knowing his name you can know my RGA? No, yeah, I, I, I know I, your I, RGA. There you go, Kelly. Okay. Who's his RGA? Fijaro. Huh? Ari Fijaro. No, okay, no, no, so no, 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 no. Hold on, everybody. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here's what I want you to do, Javis. I want you to put unknown. Okay. Unknown. Uh, yep. I want you to put unknown. Okay. It's Mark right. Dushai, though. Just just yeah. so you know, Javis, it's Mark Dushai as your RGA. All right. So we'll figure it all out. Don't worry, everybody. That's part of your homework is to make sure you know who your upline is. All right, Javis, put your hand down. I think you're done. I only got two more. I'm only taking two more. <laughs> I'm sorry. One more after those two. Oh, my goodness. Caesar, <laughs> what can I do for you? How you doing? Last question, buddy. Okay, so um, on the forum, uh, I haven't passed my test yet. So what, what do I put for the date? You leave it blank. And leave the insurance, uh, health insurance, and accident insurance. Yeah, because you don't have that either. Yeah, right. you don't have All good. Crystal okay, so Davis. Good. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay. I'm sorry. I was just a little bit late, but how do I get to the floor? Uh, sure. In the uh, chat, I have put the... Hold on a second. Let me make sure I got this right. To everyone, there is the link to the chat. That's what I need you to click on yet, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay, so, Caesar, did you have one more question? Because I may have cut you off, but your hand is still up. No? Caesar? No. All right, thanks, sir. And I know one last one, last one, that was precious. Me. Precious, yeah. what do you got for me? Um, when it asks, you're joining which market? Which uh -huh. one do I put again? I don't know which market your person wanted you to attend. Who's your upline? I'm with American Income. <laughs> okay, that's fair. I got that. Uh, <laughs> who is the person that asked you to attend the class? Uh, Monty and uh, MJ. Monty, okay. Uh, I believe you're going to be in the veteran market then, okay? Veteran? Yep. Okay. All right, so that's my last question for now. we got to get in this little promo about our organization. So it's a video that we're all going to watch. So what I'm going to do is mute all of you. And I will let you come back. And you cannot unmute yourself now. So we will get back to that in just a minute. But I'm going to share my screen. We're going to watch this video together to understand a little bit about the organization that we are all joining as of today. Understanding our company historically and currently is an important part of being a professional in the insurance industry. Sales is a transfer of feelings, and one of those feelings that you need to transfer is feeling good about the company. So here's what you need to take away from this module. Number one, the background of Globe Life, American Income, and AO. 
Number two, the longstanding relationships that have been developed. Number three, what being contracted with AIL means. Our parent company, Globe, is a New York Stock Exchange publicly traded company specializing in life and supplemental health insurance for middle income North Americans marketed through multiple distribution channels, including direct response and independent agencies. Globe Life was founded over 120 years ago and is headquartered in McKinney, Texas. Globe Life currently holds the ranking of Fortune 600 company and trades under the symbol GL. Globe Life even boasts the title of top volume issuer for life insurance policies in the entire United States. This impressive record and heritage has led to some of the biggest and most notable investors and backers such as Warren Buffett and Berkshire Hathaway. Now, if that wasn't enough, Globe Life has also acquired the naming rights to the Texas Rangers ballpark and is the official insurance company of the Dallas Cowboys with over $82 billion in force, 4.2 million policyholders. Globe Life's branding and public backing has led to tremendous recruiting opportunities, as well as a huge amount of credibility for you as an associate when sitting with any one of your clients. Now, American Income Life was founded 24 years later after Globe and is headquartered in Waco, Texas. AIL operates in the United States, Canada, and New Zealand, has over $4.7 billion in assets, $67 billion of life insurance enforced. And in 1951, Bernard Rappaport founded American Income Life with $25,000 of borrowed capital. Today, AIL is one of the nation's largest providers of supplemental life insurance to labor unions, credit unions, and associations. American Income Life covers more than 2 million policyholders, represents more than 130 million in annual insurance product sales, and AIL is rated A excellent by AM's best company for financial strength and claim paying ability. In fact, in recent years, American Income paid out over $211 million in claims to over 27,000 families. One of the most unique and innovative aspects of American income is their creation of the Labor Advisory Board, which consists of more than 50 international union and association leaders throughout all of North America. Now, their job is to advise and make recommendations as to where the gaps are in union members' benefits and what they need to fill in the gaps. Now, what's really exciting is the agency that you are a part of, and that's the Altig organization, or we like to call AO. AO is the largest distribution system of AIL's products and services throughout North America. In fact, AO just by itself is the third largest company in all of Globe Life. AO was established in 1982 in Redmond, Washington, has offices across North America and six Canadian provinces with more than 2,400 associates AO boasts over 152 million in assets and is consistently ranked among the top workplaces by news outlets across North America. Winning is what AO does. And in the last 40 years, no other agency has ever outproduced AO in annualized life premium ever. You're not only contracted with the best company, but you are playing on the best team. Now that you've gotten to hear about the structure and the background of Globe Life, AIL, and AO, I want to talk about what separates AIL from the rest of the insurance industry. That separation can be seen clearly through AIL's relationships. Throughout the rest of the industry, in most cases, people spend 80 to 90% of their time trying to find someone to prospect and sell to. But AIL for more than 60 years has taken the exact opposite approach and works with more than 20,000 organizations across North America, allowing all of its associates to spend 80 to 90% of their time not prospecting or cold calling, but simply presenting to the members of one of our mini groups or the sponsors. AIL works with organizations such as the NFL Players Association, the National Crime Prevention Council, the American Federation of Teachers, the International Union of Police Associations, plus many other labor unions, credit unions, and associations, fraternal organizations, sporting groups, licensed professional and non-profit organizations. AIL and AO along with Globe Life as their parent company has the perfect building blocks for people joining the insurance industry. Here's some stats and facts that will make your contract and appointment unique and valuable. First things first, you're a union member and have a negotiated union contract and representation. You're dues paying members of either OPIU, Unifor or UFCW. 
That union membership comes with a lifetime insurance policy, which includes an accidental death benefit for you as an agent. And even as an independent contractor with AIL, you receive a medical insurance reimbursement check each month that you carry medical insurance. Now, in the insurance industry, not all policies stay on the books, and every company handles those cancellations differently. But AIL does something pretty special, which is their back-end chargeback program, which means when the inevitable cancel happens with one of your clients, it doesn't kill your next paycheck. We also receive lifetime renewals on all products, along with lifetime vesting contracts. And your renewals don't stop when you pass away. When you vest, they'll be paid to your estate or beneficiary until there's no renewals to pay. Unlike the rest of the industry, AIL and AO have no charge for leads, resources, supplies, service fees to process your applications, and you enjoy industry leading technology. And for all your hard work and efforts you put in, you can qualify for annual conventions, conferences, incentive trips, as well as raffles and prize money. Now, that concludes the company background module. To recap, Globe Life is the parent company of AIL, and AO is the crown jewel of both Globe and AIL. We work with more than 20,000 organizations across the U.S. and Canada. And finally, although we enjoy the flexibility of being an independent contractor, we enjoy amazing benefits and incentives within the company and throughout our career. Now, be sure to watch this video as many times as you need to solidify what you've learned and get the most out of your training. All right, awesome. So that's kind of our background of who we are and what we do in a nutshell. So now what we're going to do <clears throat> is introductions. Now I understand there's 95 people in this room, take out myself, it's 94, maybe take out my Connor. That gets us to what, 93? So again, I want to make this short and sweet. Just want to introduce yourself, say kind of why you're here uh, and your background. That's it. That's all I'm looking for. Okay. Now, got to do this in alphabetical order because I've tried to do this before with just the pictures on the screen and that never works because people drop on, they come back, they drop off, they come back on, and it becomes a bit of a nightmare. So let's start at the beginning with the first name, Abram Mo. Abram, can you hear me? Abram, going once, going twice. Abram, do you have the ability to unmute? No, you do not. So I do this and allow you to unmute. Okay, now you can unmute yourself. Go ahead. Hi. <laughs> can you Please hear me? Now? Yep, we can hear you now. Fantastic. Uh, I'm Abram. Uh, Abram Mo, uh, I'm sorry, what, what was the uh, information that I? <laughs> Holy mackerel. Okay, so I want you to tell me who you are, right? I'm Abram. I'm from whatever state that you're in. My experience with sales is X, Y, and Z. And the reason I'm joining is because I want to make a lot of money. I want to help people. I'm looking for a change of careers, whatever the case may be. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, Abram Mo. I'm from uh, Wisconsin. I mm -hmm. don't have any experience in sales or uh, insurance, and uh, I'm uh, joining because it seemed like a great opportunity. It's something that I haven't tried before. Okay, what did you do before this? Uh, most recently, I was a uh, department manager at McDonald's. All right, cool. Ariel Skinner. Good afternoon. I'm Ariel. I'm from Michigan, small town. Um, don't have any experience in sales or insurance. Uh, joining because I want to get into a different career change. So, okay, excellent. Alan Davidov, did I say that right, Alan? Alan Davidov, where are you at, Alan? 
Does anybody see Alan on here? He's in the room. All right, skipping Alan, go on to Amina. Hey, I'm sorry. Hello? Yeah, Alan, are you here? I'm sorry, yeah. is your camera on? Uh, yeah, I can turn it on right now. I'm sorry, how are you doing? I'm good. Alan, can you we're, hear me? Yeah, yeah. So we're just going over uh, just the background. Yeah, it's an introduction from you to the class, Alan. Everybody, what I really need to do, there's 93 people. I need you to be ready so that you can move through this quickly. Otherwise, we're going to spend an inordinate amount of time waiting for people, okay? Which doesn't right, bother yeah. me for the duration, so, but while there are other people. Go ahead, Alan. Yeah, real quick. I'm uh, pretty much um, background in real estate. I'm a real estate broker and developer. Um, and uh, just heard great things about insurance industry and just want to go ahead and uh, try it out as well. Okay, awesome. Uh, ba -ba -ba, we got Alan, Amir, Amina, Amina Dyer. Did I say that right? Yeah, last name is Daher. Um, again, Daher. my name is Amina. Uh, I do have a background in um, mortgage lending. I was a previous loan originator, and I'm here uh, as a change of careers. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you for joining. Appreciate that. Let's go to Ann, uh, no, Amina Hamid. Did I say that? Hamad. Amina Hamad. Is that right? Yes. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hi. Sorry. My name's Amina. Can you guys see me? Sorry. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so my name is Amina. I've been in the mortgage industry for um, about six years now, and I'm in an opportunity to make a move and explore a different market where I can also help out families. So that's what I intend to do here. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining. Appreciate that. So we got both Amina's done. Mm -hmm. Andrew Phillips. Hi there. So yeah, uh, my name is Andrew Phillips. I'm from Los Angeles, California. Um, I have a brief background in insurance, a little uh, about six months now. Um, I transferred <laughs> over because I previously uh, owned a moving company that kind of was affected uh, during COVID, but kind of had some been involved in sales most of my life. So served with the insurance industry, knowing that there was like great opportunities with it. Came across this company, connected with Mario, looked like a fun, great opportunity to get involved with because it's so different, it seems like. So I'm excited to get started. Okay, awesome. So thank you for joining, Andrew. Let's thank go you. to Anthony Summerer. Hey, uh, summer hour. <laughs> but um, my, name is, yes, okay. uh, my name is Anthony. Uh, I'm from uh, Atlanta, but I live in Destin, Florida. Uh, my experience is prior Navy, um, lead solar. I used to sell solar uh, through lead generation, and then I moved to Destin, Florida, and did door to door solar um, for the past year. Um, probably a couple years, um, three, four years of sales experience, and um, my goal is just to be a top agent. Appreciate you. Thank you. Hey, who recruited you? Uh, so I was recruit, yeah, because I was very hesitant to come. Um, but I was recruited by uh, Ashley Russ and Torian Fields, and then some other dude, uh, Mario. Um, I guess he's like a top top guy, Mario. Um, so those, um, so now I'm here. So okay. excited to awesome. see what life insurance is about. Yep, absolutely. Okay, let's go to Ashton. Hi, um, my name is Ashley McKinney, and I'm from Jackson, Tennessee, but I stay in Memphis, Tennessee, and mm -hmm. I'm currently um, working as a surgical tech, and so I decided to get into this because I wanted to help people on both sides of the spectrum, surgery and having insurance, because I do have, have a lot of patients that don't have insurance, so just want to make a difference on both sides. Okay, awesome. Thanks for joining. appreciate that. Austin. How you guys doing? Uh, my name is Austin Maddie. I'm from Michigan. And um, I have experience in sales for the last couple of years with cell phones. And I wanted to change a career and to help families and to possibly make a better payroll for uh, the future. So that's, that's all. 
Okay, it's been my experience that the folks who uh, come from the cell phone industry into this course do extraordinarily well selling insurance. So I'm confident that you're going to do well. Benjamin. Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Benjamin Hansel. I'm from Michigan. Um, I've done sales in the past uh, for the past couple of years. I sold insurance for a little bit at um, a different company, uh, Primerica. It wasn't the greatest experience. Um, quit doing that. Went back, worked for the family company doing sales uh, there. And uh, why I joined AO is I got to put myself through law school somehow. <laughs> okay, so that works. Let's go to, uh, so you were Benjamin, let's go to Blair. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Blair. Uh, I am from Las Vegas, Nevada. My background is in hospitality. I currently work over at Mandalay Bay right now. Uh, I got into this because I am looking for a career change and to ultimately uh, take a risk on myself. Yeah. Okay, awesome. That's great. Glad to hear it. Uh, let's go to, to your Blair, Bob. Hi, I'm uh, Bob Johnson. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. I am a former musician, old as dirt now. I've been running restaurants for the last 20 years. Um, after catching COVID for three times, I decided a change was due. So here I am. <laughs> okay, love it. Bridget. Hi, my name is Bridget Corbell. I'm from uh, West Fargo, North Dakota, as Mike likes to say. Mm -hmm. um, I have a background in production and sales. I wanted a different change because I'm tired of working um, for a production company and I just wanted something I can finally grow in. Okay. Welcome, Bridge. Appreciate that. Let's go to Brittany. Hi. Um, I'm Brittany. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm from Florida. I don't have any experience. I have a nursing background and just exploring a career change. Okay. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate Thank that. You. Let's go to Caesar. Caesar. How you doing? My name is Caesar. I'm from uh, Michigan. Uh, I'm just doing this as a career change, trying to make some money. Awesome. What did you do before this, Caesar? Uh, I was in the medical marijuana industry. Gotcha. Okay. Well, thanks for joining. Hey, uh, the next person is Carol. Carol, is your last name Agnes? Yeah, Caesar. Carol? Carol? Uh, does anybody see Carol? Is she on, on camera? Are you able to hear me now? Oh, yes, we can see you, Carol. Uh, can you turn your camera on for me? Well, I'm not sure how to do this. It worked before. Mm -hmm. So I have to work on that. Okay, no worries. Carol, is your last name Agnes, A-G-N-E-S? No, that's in my email address. Uh, any version of Carol Marshall was already taken. So, but my name is Carol Agnes Marshall. <laughs> and Marshall is your last name then, right? Yes. yes. Is that with uh, one L or two? Two L's. Okay, thank you. Go ahead. Okay. Um, now that we got my name straight, I'm from Ohio and... Um, I have my license and health license since actually 2016. I used to work for Bankers Life Insurance. Oh, and, nice. Um, and I stopped doing that for a while because it got very brutal there. Cold calling, very hard to find people to sell to. So, but I did win a trip to Jamaica there though. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you joining us and telling us a little bit about you. That's great. Let's move on to Christian Gochai, or Goichai, as it's pronounced. Christian Goichai. Uh, 
Okay, Christian, we cannot hear you. Is anybody see Christian? Or he's now gone. Okay, let's go to uh, Claudia or Claudia U. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. How do you pronounce that, Claudia? Uh, it's Claude. Claude, thank you. Yeah. Uh, so my name is Claude. I'm from Michigan. Um, in past experience, I've actually worked with AO before. Um, oh, now I'm just yep. Now I'm just coming back because um, I want to make some money. <laughs> Why'd you leave? Um, I just had some things I had to take care of, personal stuff. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so now cool. I'm back. Well, welcome back, man. Appreciate that. Appreciate it. Thank Let's you. Go to Clanetta. Clen is that right, Clanetta Fraser? Clonetta. I'm Clonetta Frazier, and I have over a 20-year career in human resources, and I'm excited about AO because I've been able to see people use benefits like the ones that we'll be providing over my history of my career. Right now, I have my own HR consulting firm, so this just fits well. I'm excited to add an additional stream of income as well. Nice. All right. Well, welcome. Appreciate that. We can talk about HR stuff uh, sometime <laughs> offline. All right. So that was, uh, who are we on to now? Cross? Cross, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Go ahead. Can you hear me? Yep. I don't know. Cross, Yusuf. I live in Michigan. I do heating and cooling now. Seeing a, a change in careers. And I'm here to stay. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Well, thanks for joining. Uh, Cross and Crystal Davis. Is that right? Hi, can you see me? Yes, we can see you. Hi, my name is Crystal Davis. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. And I previously worked with me with the insurance and auto and homeowners. Mm -hmm. And I did that for a little bit. And then I did um security for about five years before that okay awesome well welcome uh daniel daniel austin hey guys my name is daniel i'm from four walton beach florida i'm an investor i'm actually transitioning from the residential solar industry uh, my best friend saw this opportunity and wanted me to jump on board so i'm uh, taking the leap of faith i'm excited to be here though who was your best friend uh torian fields yeah i know torian <laughs> boss, you did a very, very good job, and I understand he's doing really well now. So that's great news. Yep, it's a lot well, of us. Yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, I bet. All right, let's go to Dave Garnett. Hi, I'm Dave Garnett. Um, I've worked in insurance previously before, um, but, and financial services uh, over the last twenty years or so. Uh, I live in California, uh, Sherman Oaks, you know, outside of Los Angeles. Okay, awesome. Let's go to uh, Diana. Hi, I'm Diana. Uh, good afternoon. My name is Diana Porter. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I am new to the insurance industry. My background is in mortgage and real estate. I've heard a lot of good things about American Income Life. Actually, I just helped a family member who had to submit a claim with American Income Life, and that process was smooth and seamless. Mm -hmm. I'm joining to learn a new industry that will allow me to help families and receive an income that is uncapped. <laughs> well, first of all, from all of us, you know, we uh, feel sorry for your loss. And certainly with that experience now, you can, when you talk to clients, you can give them the personal touch, right? Absolutely. That you built yourself, so... Thank you for joining us. Uh, let's see, yes, Diane. Doris Stokes. Doris? Can you hear me? Yep, we can hear you now. Go ahead. My name is Doris Stokes. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Um, I've been in sales for the past seven years, and of six of those years, it's been in mortgages. So MLO. I'm excited to just start a new career path. Um, and also be in charge of my own income. So really excited to join. Great. Thank you for joining. Appreciate you. I think it's, I think it's Gabe. Gabe, it, I, your name says all one word. So is it Gabe? Yeah. Hello. Can you hear me? 
Yeah, Gabe, what's your last name? Uh, Abuan, A B U A. Yeah, all right, go ahead. <laughs> Hello, my name is Gabe. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I don't have much experience yet, but I'm just kind of looking for a new career path and to make some money. Well, see, if you're in Cleveland, Ohio, you're probably under the Mark Dushai RJ yes. and I'm confident that the fellows over there, that entire group, is going to show you how to make a lot of money. Okay, that's, that's good to hear. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. There is somebody here who has their Zoom name as Galaxy Tab A 2016. <laughs> oh, that's you. What's happening? Can you hear me? Is that not you? Who is Galaxy, whatever the case may be? Galaxy Tab A 2016. That might be me, Dolly Boar. Uh, yep, that's you. Yep, that is you. Okay, what is your first name? Dolly Bohr, last name Dimovsky. Can you spell one of those? <laughs> D-A-L-I-B-O-R. Oh, found you. Okay, perfect. Yeah, go ahead, sir. Uh, I reside in Troy, Michigan, uh, looking for a new career path. I um, helped run and manage a uh, well-known restaurant in Detroit. Okay, awesome. Good for you. Uh, let's go to, and I'm sure I'm not going to say this right. And I apologize. Is it Gurnecki, Gurnaka, Gordon, Gurney, okay. Gordon? Jernika. Jern, of course I can't say it right. That's Jernica. okay. Just, and feel free to call me Nika. Everybody calls me Nika. Okay. So that's much easier. <laughs> but, um, hi, I'm coming. I'm, I'm glad to be here. I'm from Columbus, Ohio. Um, I've been selling insurance for a few years now, um, life insurance, health insurance. Um, my background is in um, human services and um, looking for a great insurance company to partner with. So that's Awesome. Hey, out of curiosity, since you've been an insurance agent in the past, why did you decide to join American Income? The opportunity, um, the leads being provided. Mm -hmm. um, I spent a lot of money on leads. Mm -hmm. And um, I read the reviews, talked to some people, mm -hmm. and free leads. I'm here. <laughs> no, no, that's right. <laughs> well, we're going to walk through all of that. We're not only going to give you the, the leads, but we'll show you how to generate uh, what we call plus leads, sponsorship okay. referrals. Yeah. It's a pretty seamless way that we do it. I like it, and it really gives you a leg up. All right, let's go to Hapreet Singh. Yes, sir. Hello. My name is Harpreet Singh. I'm from California. I've been in sales for most of my life, uh, from owning liquor stores to working for luxury car brands to uh, <clears throat> back in the day also doing solar. Um, you know, that scam. So I just, you know, <laughs> you know it's true. Uh, that's why a lot of people <laughs> moved from solar to come to here. So I'm just, yeah, looking for a different uh, environment, I guess. Um, I really want to get into uh, investing in properties. I have two uh, properties already um, that I'm renting out for homes and uh, getting passive income. So I just want to grow on that. And I feel like a good uh, career path for that as well. Um, okay. Well, thank you for joining uh, Harpreet. We Harpreet. appreciate it. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, shorten it to Harp. I usually go by that. H-E-R-P, the first uh, four. If you want to do that, change your screen name. So when okay. I call you, I'll actually, because that's what I need everybody to do. Your first name and your last name separated by space. Whatever you want me to call you, mm -hmm. then I will call you what's on that screen. Okay, let's go to, and I'm sure I'm going to get this wrong, but it's not Hercules because there's no R. So is it Hercules? Hercules Gaines? Okay. Yes, it's Hercules Games. I'm a, I apologize for the misspell. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. No my worries. Name, my name is Hercules Gaines. I uh, presently reside in Phoenix, Arizona. I uh, spent the last decade. I'm a barber. Um, mm -hmm. And I just thought I could do a great transition with people relations and, you know, relating to people uh, on different levels. Um, my stepson, Brandon Hughes, brought me in. He thought I'd be great at it. So uh, I'm giving it a good shot. Yeah, I think you're going to do just fine, my friend. You're able to talk to people. That's half the battle in this job. If you can just talk to people, you're going to do just fine. All right, Hercules. Otherwise, uh, no. Hey, how do I change you know that? What? 
your legend just became official throughout your career here. You will forever be known by Hercules. You know, I'm going to still be a man of virtue. That's all I can be. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Uh, let's go to Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Hey, sorry about that. <clears throat> hey, um, my name is Ibrahim. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Um, been with the company for about a year now. Um, the reason I'm here is because I'm switching leads type and I'm just trying to take the credit union training. Which lead type are you switching to? I'm um, switching from union leads. To, to uh, you, credit union. To credit union. Okay. Well, thanks for joining us. You'll be able to attest to a lot of the stuff that we're going to go over today. So that's great. Thank you. Next person, Thank you. Yeah, the next person I have, uh, their name on their Zoom is iPhone. <laughs> Who is that? Who is iPhone? Is that me? No. Okay. Who is iPhone? Okay, so the way that we know that your iPhone is because now you're in the waiting room. So then you're going to tell me who you are. Okay. Uh, Jade Lorenz. Hello, uh, I'm Jade Lorenz. Uh, did it, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, the reason why I wanted to join this company is for a better opportunity in life and so that I can make a better life for my family. I don't have no sales experience in uh, the last five years I've been working in factories. Oh, then you know what? You're perfect. <laughs> You're perfect. <laughs> you want to make money and you have no preconceived notions about sales. So you're going to learn from us. And I guarantee you the people that we bring in, that's going to speak to all of you, the guest, the guest speakers. Most of them had no experience in sales whatsoever before they started. Okay. So that will uh, turn out to be really well. So who was that? That was Jade. So let's go to James Salmon. Hi, everybody. My name is James Salmon. I'm from uh, Michigan. Uh, I have a background, a big background in sales. I currently do real estate and yeah, I'm just here for the experience and the opportunity. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, James. Let's go to Javis. Javis. Hello, sir. Hello. Yeah, we can hear you, Javis. Go ahead. Yes, my name is Javis Andico mm -hmm. and I've Ever since I was 18 years old, I've been doing seven to eight jobs, restaurant, nursing, um, warehouse, like different jobs ever since I was 18 years old. And I'm, I, I'm really motivated to do this type of work because it can help me in life. Like, mm -hmm. like for example, um, it, it's helped myself because right now I'm a, I, I, I have like, it's helped myself because I don't have a family. Like I'm not with anybody right now. I'm just like to help myself and, and to make myself have good income. I okay, also would, yeah. That, that, that's awesome. That's great. I appreciate that. Yeah. You got your background. We know what you did and we know why you're attending. That's awesome. Yeah. We'll learn more about you as the class continues, but I want to move on to Joanne. Okay, okay Joanne, you go ahead. Joanne? Hi, can you guys see me or hear me? Yes, we can. Go ahead. I'm Joanne. I'm from Michigan. I have sales experience because I'm a hearing instrument specialist, so I've been selling hearing aids for quite some time now. Um, I'm excited to kind of get into something different that could help me just have like an uncapped income and kind of just help families. And I love talking to people. So I think it'll work. <laughs> All right. Awesome. Well, appreciate you joining us, Joanne. Thank Let's you. go to, gosh, who's next on my list? Joanne, Joe Nava. Hi, everyone. My name is Joe Nava. I live in Billings, Montana. I apologize. Um, no problem. <laughs> For the past three years, I've worked as a vibration analyst in the electric motor repair industry. And the reason I'm here is because I'm looking to learn a new skill and uh, have more control over my, uh, my schedule. Thank you. Yeah, I absolutely appreciate that. Um, let's go to John Shreve. 
Hi, everybody. Um, I'm in Ohio. I have sales experience in uh, the car business for about 15 years and most recently in a law firm where I meet with clients, have them sign contracts, that kind of thing, and make sure their case is worth taking in. Uh, my son-in-law got me involved in this business. He's been there for a couple of years, loves it. So looking forward to uh, the potential of uh, making a lot of clients okay. happy. So you dropped the son-in-law name. Who is your son-in-law? Uh, that is Sean Fastemal. <laughs> yes, we know Sean. He sat through one of my classes. Awesome. Hey, appreciate having you here. Thank All right, you. John, let's go to Joseph. Joseph Petracci. Petracci. Yeah. My name's Joseph. I'm from Michigan. I work in the restaurant business right now, but I'm really just looking for a change of careers. Um, I don't really have any sales experience. Um, that's pretty much it. All right, Joe. Appreciate that. That's great. Let's go to Joseph Sicaria. Joe Sicaria, are you there? Joe Sicaria. All right, let's go to John. Did I do John Shreve already? Yes. Uh, Joseph Joshua Sprague. Or Sprague, I apologize, your last name, Joshua. Oh, you had it right the first time. My name's Josh, I'm from Indiana. I'm coming from the mortgage industry like a lot of other folks, and uh, I'm just excited to learn a new industry. So thank you. Awesome. Hey, thanks for joining, we appreciate that. I see a Kelly Hobbs. That's me, hi, I'm Kaylee Hobbs. I am from Las Vegas, Nevada. Hi, Blair. Um, we don't know each other, but he's the only one from Las Vegas. Anyways, I am coming from a long time of just being a stay-at-home mom. I did have a couple months of sales experience for water softeners. Hated it. Didn't believe in water softeners. I do believe in this. I do believe in helping people, and that's why I'm here. I'm here to make money and help change lives, set up estates, get it going. Nice. Who recruited you? Um, Eddie Leon, and then my trainer is Eric um, Stadler. <laughs> Yep, yep. We know both of those gentlemen really well. So thanks for joining, Kaylee. Appreciate that. Let's go to uh, Thank you. Kayla Howell. Hey, I'm Kayla Howell. I'm from Texas. Um, my dad's been in insurance for 35 years, uh, and I've always been interested, known the importance, but I've had two little ones. I actually had a brain surgery when they were little, so I've done a lot of part-time stuff. Um, <clears throat> like I have an Airbnb business. I've done a little bit of real estate. But I was looking for something where I can have my career now that they're older and kind of stick with it. And it's awesome that I get to be in the insurance business um, without having to go out and be out of the home so much doing the lead thing that I've seen my dad do. It just kind of seemed like the best of both worlds. I was really excited when I heard about it. Well, that's awesome. Hey, we appreciate you joining. Uh, we'll talk about that later. We'll talk about women in the insurance industry. We're going to talk about the fact that you don't need to drive anywhere. We'll talk about the percentage of men to women and how that's uh, transitioning quite rapidly, particularly with AO International and in the market in general. So thanks for joining us, Kaylee. Appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, I think it's Kelly McDonald. Do I have that right? Kelly McDaniel. Kelly. Yes, sir. It is Kelly McDaniel. I am from Colorado. Now I have some insurance experience, but not with the sales, I work for a call center and I help the members pick their plans. I help the insurance agent or the providers with their claims. And then I got out of that, believe it or not, I was working from home for two years. And then my uh, grandson moved in and you're supposed to be working in a nice quiet environment. Now you can't tell a five month old that he can't cry. So I quit that and then I went back into my passion, which is cooking and I ran a food truck. But now, since both my kids are grown up and moving on with their life, I want financial security for me and my husband. And that's why I came here. Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you for joining, Kelly. Let's go to Kedrick Hunt. Hey, it's Kedrick. Kedrick. Uh, so sorry, Kedrick. Uh, from Memphis, born and raised. Uh, Memphis, Tennessee, by the way. I think that's the only real Memphis. Well, we're not going to get into that. Uh, from Memphis, Tennessee, and I've done sales before. I've done door-to-door -door as well as I've done uh, selling over the phone with insurance as well. Not life insurance, but just a different type of insurance. So excited to make some money. We're going to make a difference this year. 
Awesome. Well, thank you for joining. Chrissy Long. Okay. Hi, I'm Chrissy Long. I am originally from Arkansas, but I moved to Wyoming about six months ago. I come from the mortgage industry, like a bunch of others, um, did originating and processing. So excited to get into a new industry and make some money while I'm at it. Is that big sky country? Not quite. That's, no. I think of more Montana when I think big sky. Okay, fair enough. Thank you. Thanks for joining, Christy. Appreciate that, or Chrissy. Let's go to, I think that's all the K's, Lucas. Uh, and I have no idea how I should pronounce that. <laughs> Lucas, Quebec. Did I say that right? That's a Seabec. Can you hear me? Seabec. Yes, Lucas. Yeah. I don't see you, but I can hear you. Yes, I'm. I'm trying to fix my uh, my video yeah. here. Go ahead. My name's Lucas Seabec. I'm in uh, Georgia right now. I'm in the military as a paralegal specialist, but I'll be getting out in about a month. Congratulations! And, uh, I just uh, just got my license. Got licensed just about a month ago now, and uh, really excited to get going on the new career. Awesome. Which market did you select? Is it the veteran market you're going into? Yes. All right. Yeah. Thank you for your service. I'm sure not enough people tell you that. I have service as well. So we are veterans in arms, my friend. Thank you for Thank your you service. Sir. Let's Thank go you. to Luke. Luke Barish, I believe. Yes. Uh, how's it going? My name's Luke. I used to be an electrician and um, I'm from Michigan mm -hmm. and I'm just Excited to try a new career path. Haven't I don't have any experience with this at all. But. Hey, you're going to kill it. That's what I've learned. The folks who have no experience do incredibly well. All right. Thank you. I appreciate you joining. Let's go to, oh gosh, Lynn, Ia, Linnea Taylor. Did I get that right? Yeah, it's Linnea. Oh. Um, I'm Linnea Taylor. I'm from Laramie, Wyoming. Um, I have no experience in the industry. Um, and I came from the restaurant industry and I just want to try something new while I'm going to college to make some income on the side with a flexible schedule. Oh, that's great. You will come to a point where you will say to yourself, I'm making so much money. What should I do? Right. So <laughs> agree, though, I will goal, get that, but you, put that, you will make enough money that you will have options as you move forward. Thanks for joining us, Linnea. Uh, Marcus, uh, Jarek, Jer Marcus Jarek. Yep. I'm Marcus Jarek. Got it. I have no uh, any experience in this field trying something new. I basically do hard labor work, so I'm trying to take it easy with this one. <laughs> Fair enough, my friend. Let's go to uh, Mario. Um, my name is Mario. Um, I'm from Michigan. I have no experience in this field. I currently own cell phone stores. I'm just doing this to take a new career path. So I'm excited. All right. Awesome. Hey, thanks for uh, joining us, Mario. What I like is that you kind of ran your own business, and this is sort of the similar thing. You're running your own thing. So as much as you put into it is what's going to come out. So thanks for joining us, Mario. Let's go to Mark Sales. See, I know I got that one right. Right, Mark? Yes. Mark Good yes. morning. Good morning. Uh, my name is Mark Sales. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Um, I have 40 years of sales experience, uh, starting in consumer sales, uh, pharmaceutical sales, and then I started, grew, and sold a durable medical equipment company. Um, mm -hmm. I'm looking for something uh, remotely because I've been a road warrior for all that time and uh, a part-time flexible schedule that I'm retired now. Awesome. Hey, well, welcome. You definitely have found the right spot. And we are uh, both road warriors in my uh, corporate career. I used to be on planes all the time, not in the car. But anyway, thanks for joining us. I appreciate it, Mark. Let's go to, holy mackerel, Martin Toma. That's right. Oh, okay. Awesome. Yep. Uh, yep. My name is Martin. Um, I'm from Michigan. Um, my background is in the construction. I'm here for a career change and hopefully um, I'm in this for the longevity of it. Awesome. Hey, well, thanks for joining. Marvin, Jonas, did I get that one right? Yeah, you got it right. How you doing? Uh, I'm Marvin Yunus. Um, I currently own a few smoke shops. Uh, I'm from Michigan. Um, I have no experience in this and um, I'm ready to try something new. <laughs> okay. 
Well, appreciate that. Mary, Mary, quite contrary. Welcome Thanks, back. Man. Yeah, well, my name is Mary Frederick. I live in Wyoming most of the time. Um, I'm a retired municipal clerk. No sales, but I'm here ready to do this. Nice. Well, welcome back. I appreciate that fact that you sticking it out. Michael Carlton. Michael Carlton. Yes. Um, I'm Michael Carlton. Um, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I'm currently um, in school for gaming design. Um, I have sales experience from um, online sales and also in-person sales, door-to-door -door sales as well. Um, I'm here to make money. I got a four-year-old. I need some flexible. Um, like I said, I'm in my last year for school. So mm -hmm. I want to make the most money I can with a flexible schedule. And that's exactly what this opportunity seems to be. So I'm excited about it. Absolutely, man. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate that. Mildred, you're up next. Hi, everyone. So my name is Mildred. I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. I don't have any previous sales experience, but I've been here with AIL for about five months now. Um, just looking for a change of career. I have a one-year-old, something flexible at home. So I'm really excited to be here with everyone and kind of make the change and leap of faith. Awesome. So you say you've been with us for five months. What have you been doing for five months? Um, I did McGruff for about four, and then I recently got switched into uh, unions and very quickly I got switched into these credit unions now. So credit unions. Okay. Awesome. Hey, well, appreciate the fact that you're here. Let's see. We did Mildred Mohammed. There's no way I can say your last name, my friend. Alan Sarai? Ah, not even close. No, that, that was close. Uh, Mohammed Alan Sarawi. Um, I am from Cleveland, Ohio. Mm -hmm. I am a college student. I'm majoring in mechanical engineering, and I'm just looking to, you know, learn something new, basically. Just ex expand my income, basically. Absolutely, my friend. I can completely understand that. Morgan Serrano, I, I think I've taught a number of Serranos. There's no way you could be related, could it? Morgan, are you there? Hi. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> um, I don't know. Could be related. Um, hi, everyone. I'm Morgan Serrano. Um, I live in Denver, Colorado. I have no background in insurance other than paying it every month. <laughs> um, I come from the hospitality and serving industry. I've done that for 15 years. I stopped about 15 months ago when I had my baby and couldn't go back. And I've been looking for something from home ever since. Um, and when this fell on my lap, it just seemed so perfect for me. So awesome. I'm well, excited to make some money and build a career. Awesome. As we go through the next two weeks, you're going to find how it's really, really fits kind of what you have going on. That's great. Thank you for joining oh. Mohammed yep. Hussein, did I skip you? Uh, yeah, you may have. Apologize, Mohammed. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, my name is Mohammed Hussein. Rare name. I'm assuming that you guys have never seen that before, especially since we had one, two uh, people ago. Uh, honestly, I'm just really. I just want to make money. I want to make a lot of it. And uh, I have a few friends who actually did something similar to this, and they seem to be doing good. So I want to do the same thing. So let me ask you a question, Mohammed. When you say you want to make a lot of money, what does a lot of money mean to you? How much are you talking about? Mm, the scope changes with uh, what I see from others. Uh, so I said a hundred. The minimal amount. What is a minimal amount to oh, you? Middle um, minimum amount or a middle amount? Minimum. Uh, minimum. Oh, minimal. I want eighty. Okay. Eighty. If you're not making eighty thousand by the end of this year, and then something's wrong. No, we'll okay. see what happens. Just for um, everybody here, there's no reason why, because that time that you're starting, there's no reason why any of you can't make three figures in my mind. <clears throat> Literally, there's no reason. And it will teach you how to do that, and it will require work, but I prefer the work where I'm sitting in my home office and not having to go visit people, and I can put in the hours that I think are necessary to get to that 100000 just so everybody knows that's kind of how I look at it. Nick Ferrara. Did I say that one right, Nick? Perfect. Perfect. Good morning, all, um, or good afternoon. I'm Nick Ferrara. I am originally from 
there it is, St. Louis, Missouri, but last 25 years, I've lived in Little Rock, Arkansas, and I have 40 plus years in sales, advertising, and marketing. Uh, most recently, eight years with a home improvement company, a regional home improvement company. Um, I left them last Monday and uh, came, uh, came over to AO because of the income opportunity. I have a finite number of years left in the work uh, in the workforce and uh, would like to work uh, as flexibly but as, as and make as much money as I can make in the next sure. 10, 15 years. And I love right. the opportunity, love the flexibility and love the opportunity to help others. Awesome. Well, hey, thanks for joining. Appreciate that. So that was Nick. Let's go to Nico. Nico. Hey, Sam. My name is Nico. Uh, I was previously a part of American Income Life at the Hard Dushai Agency throughout the 2020 calendar year. Uh, for personal reasons, I left and I was part of the mortgage industry for the last two years, and I'm happy to be back and grow with AO. Awesome. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, you're in a great upline. Uh, they're going to do well. Let's go to, let's see, that was Nico. Let's go to I love this name, Precious. The next two names are pretty awesome. Precious Kavanaugh. Hi, I'm Precious Kavanaugh. I'm from Austin, Texas. And I originally had my insurance license when I was like 19 and never renewed it with Primerica and didn't do sales until I worked with Allstate for a little while in Miami, mm -hmm. Florida. But now I'm back and I have 11 month old and trying to work from home. Cause I get it. it awesome. Like daycares. Yeah. Well, welcome uh, to the organization. Thank That's you. great. The second name I like is Princess. Princess, are you there? Yes. Hello. Can y'all hear me? We can hear you. We can't see you though. But I know. I tried going in and out. I don't know okay. if it's just Zoom, but I'm going to try to see again. Um, well, my name is Princess. Um, I've had experience for life accident and auto insurance as well. So I'm honestly here because it seemed like a great opportunity. And I never thought I'll ever be doing anything with insurance because I'm 23. I had other plans, but um, I grew passion and love. Just the fact that insurance go deeper than what it's just known to be. And mm -hmm. I didn't even know some people could cry or, you know, it could make a really big difference in somebody's life. So I, I love helping people. And that's why I'm here. Awesome. So, so everyone knows, uh, to let everybody know, in the Mark Dushai hierarchy, we had a young man, 17 years old, start out making calls for us. Uh, as soon as he turned 18, he went through the class, <clears throat> got his license, and now he's doing well. So it doesn't matter how old you are. All that matters is can you diligently do what we're asking you to do in the manner of which we ask you? Because if you can, then you're going to do just fine and make a lot of money. Randy. Hi, how's it going? Uh, hey. I'm from Michigan. I do not have any uh, experience in life insurance sales, but I did used to be in sales when I had my own business. Okay. So awesome. I'm actually here now to just make an extra income. I'm also renovating homes. Okay. Awesome. Rebecca. Hi, I'm Rebecca from St. Pete. Uh, bartender for the last 15 years. Just really looking for a career change. Awesome. Hey, well, thanks for joining. I, uh, one of the, uh, in my own, uh, was a former bartender and she's doing incredibly well. So there's nothing that says. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Rebecca. So let's go to, let's see. I'm in the R's. We did Rebecca Renee Zimmerman. Hi, I'm Renee Zimmerman. My husband and I own a landscaping business. Um, I've also been in real estate sales, took a little break to raise five children, and they're all teenagers now. So I do have a lot of experience in sales, but I actually um, came across American Income Life when I was searching for my own insurance policy, and I was mm -hmm. just really impressed. So that's why I'm here. Did you buy an insurance policy? Well, no, because I saw this, the uh, uh, pitch. <laughs> 
<laughs> and I thought, I'm going to wait until I'm there. Okay, fair enough. But yeah, it's definitely something that our family can use. Okay, no problem. Thank you very much, Renee. Let's go to, uh, you know, I'm not going to say this right. Your last name is Castaneda. Your first name is Rihanna. <laughs> I know I didn't do that right. Ms. Castaneda, are you there? R-H-I-N-N-O-N. Rihanna. Nope. <clears throat> okay, let's go to Ricardo Aguilar. Uh, hello, everyone. Can anyone hear me? Yes. All right, then. Um, so my name is Ricardo Aguilar. I'm born in Chicago. I'm currently living in Wisconsin. Um, no experience in sales, and but beforehand, I had experience working at uh, Amazon, as well as the TV station at my university. So I kind of have a bit of experience like talking to people and such. And mm -hmm. I kind of wanted to pursue this career because... I feel like it'd be a great opportunity for me to grow and like maybe have a a, a brighter future for myself as in building something. Okay, awesome. Well, thanks for uh, thanks for joining. Ronak, Ronak, Ronik Patel. Hey guys, uh, Ronik. I'm from Michigan. Um, I come from a background of family-owned retail businesses, um, and then I joined this company, thinking you know I want to be a part of something bigger. Um, and also I like the fact that what I put in is what I'm going to get out of this. I, I've learned that already in the retail industry and I appreciate that. Awesome. Hey, well, thanks for joining Rory Ford. Hey, how you doing? I'm trying to adjust this camera cause it goes out. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey guys. There how you doing? So. I, um, I'm from Michigan. My name is Rory Ford. Um, I was brought in by my uh race team i should say <laughs> alessandro as well as mark dushai we, mm -hmm. we race together um i have my own business i've had it for almost 28 years um and right now i'm looking for a little less labor and a little bit more easier thing to do so mm -hmm. i i like what i see about aoa versus primerica and a few other places you know i don't like calling out names too much but you know just to use as an advocate for why i'm here and okay. I like AOL and the benefits of it, especially the way they set up the sales part where you're not running from door to door. That is a big thing for me. And I thank Mark Duche, Alessandro and Christian, and I can go to a few other people for allowing mm -hmm. me to be a part of this family. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining. I'm sure we'll chat more about that later. One thing yes, for you to take a look at your camera because it's... Uh... Excuse I know. Me. That's why I didn't want. Hey, look. That's why I didn't want to cut it on. When I cut it on, it's cool for a second. Are you, you on a laptop stop. or are you on a computer? I'm on a laptop. All right. So you're using the laptop's camera. Yes. Okay. So you're going to want to invest in a not too expensive, but like maybe fifty bucks, a USB camera, like a Logitech. Okay. <clears throat> because that camera is not going to work for you with clients either. All right, let's go to, so that was Rory. Let's go to Ron, Rory, Ronak, Ros, Rosalia, 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 Rosalia. Hi, got everyone. My name is Rosalia Manjipani. I'm from, I'm from Macomb, Michigan, and I'm currently a dental assistant, so this is pretty new to me. Um, I'm looking forward to starting something new. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Awesome. Thank you, uh, Rosalia. Of course, I got your name wrong. I apologize to everybody. Okay, thank you. All right, Rosalia, let's go to Ruth. I think I got that one right. Yeah, you got that one right. Hi, good morning and good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Ruth Malloy. I am from Mission Viejo, California. Um, I don't have any sales experience. I was a restaurateur for Chipotle Mexican Grill a few years back and uh, moved to a dental, uh, being a dental office manager. Um, and then I went on maternity leave because I just had twins back in uh, 2021. So I have four kids. And during my maternity leave, my husband and I opened up a tattoo shop. Uh, he currently runs that. And I um, like to keep busy. And I um, want to make income um, and provide for my family and be able to make a positive impact in people's lives. And I think this is the best way to do it. And um, yeah, I'm excited to be here. You got a whole lot packed into there. Did you say you had twins? Uh, yeah, I have four kids. I have a nine-year-old, a five-year-old, and then I have twin boys that are a year and a half. Gotcha. So I had twin girls long, long time ago. Oh, it's so, fun, isn't it? <laughs> you what you're going through. Thank you for joining us. Now, I'm going to pronounce this like the singer. So uh, 
Let's see if I get it right. Is it Sade? Yes, Sade. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> Great. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, my name is Sade Stanley. I'm in Middlesex County, New Jersey. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom. I had my baby boy uh, January 2nd of last year. Mm -hmm. um, prior to that, I was actually in American Income Life. I joined in 2020 um, with an agency out here. Um, didn't work out too well, obviously, and I'm here now and ready to give it another shot. I'm sorry, you said you joined an agency with who? AIL. The, okay, so it was a different agency. So I guarantee you, you're going to have a completely different experience. Oh, I, I know. I already, okay. All just right, the perfect. fact that I'm already on like the AO planet, that mm -hmm. it, you can fall into a rabbit hole of yep. so knowledge. We'll chat, about, we'll chat about that later, but thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. So that was Sade. Let's go thank to... You. The man with the same name as me, Samuel. I'm Samuel from Iowa, middle of nowhere. Um, right now I'm working at Walmart. I do overnight management. So I'm looking to get something that's a little bit easier, better schedule. Okay. Hey, well, thanks for joining us. I would agree with you and make more money. There's no doubt in my mind you're going to make more money. Sandra Taylor. Hello, I'm Sandra. I'm from Texas. I currently live in Fort Worth. I do not have any experience in insurance. Um, I came from the mortgage industry. I was in that for seven years in client relations. So I wanted a career change, something more stable, and I'm here to make money and help people while doing it. Awesome. That's great. Sarah, 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 why does your name seem familiar to me? Sarah Agel, what is going on? Good morning, Sam. How are I'm you? I'm to be in your class again. I was in <laughs> class 22017 for veterans. Ah, and now you're here for? Credit union. Of course you are. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the, more, the more knowledge, the more power. Absolutely. My name is Sarah Agel. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. I've previously been in Sam's class before, and I'm still just starting. I just got out of Sam's class like two weeks ago, and I'm excited. Let's get the ball rolling. Absolutely. Why did they put you into the credit union market when you just started the veteran market? Do you know? I asked for that. I wanted that. Um, what? The, big, the bigger palette. Yeah. <laughs> well, you just want to have, okay, I'm with you now. Gotcha. Hey, well, welcome back. Appreciate that. Some of the stuff obviously is going to be similar to what you've been through before. But that's okay. Definitely. Let's go to see we did Sarah. Let's go to Shannon Ball. Hello, my name is Shannon. I'm in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and I currently own a cleaning business that I've ran for the last 15-ish years. And I'm not getting any younger, so I'm looking for something a little easier. I should say easier on my body. <laughs> I'm old. No, 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 no. You're you're young. Come <laughs> on, now. you're young. It'll be fine. Uh, thanks for joining us. Let's go to Sherry Young. Hi, guys. My name is Sherry Young. I'm over in Madison Heights, Michigan, Detroit, born and raised. Um, I don't have any insurance history, but I do have about 13 plus years customer service and HR experience. Mm -hmm. I've been a special needs teacher for about four years, 25 years ballet professionally, uh, 10 years licensed bartending. So kind of trying to pull all the hats that I wear together and venture into a new path. Um, and I just love helping people and they leave happier than they came. So, Awesome. Thank you for joining us. Stephanie Flynn. Hi, everybody. My name is Stephanie Flynn. Um, I am in Shreveport, Louisiana. I have uh, about two decades of HR experience. A lot of that is benefits administer. Um, so I uh, learned about this and I think that uh, my experience in that part of the benefits is going to help me in this part. And I was just ready for a new career. HR can be very difficult sometimes and so um I just want to try something else and like everybody else said we all want to make money and help people so hopefully this is going to be my way to do that okay awesome 
Thank you for joining us. So let's go to uh, Taji Williams. Did I get that? Yeah, even... yeah you got that right. <laughs> Surprisingly. Um, Taji Williams I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. I'm new to the industry. I have five years of sales and um, I have my own shop to sell car parts. And I just want to change the career, trying to help all people. Because a lot of people don't have life and health insurance. And so just trying to help out. Awesome. That's great. Thanks for joining us. Let's go to Tara, Tara Magnum. Tara? Tara? <laughs> Hi, I'm Tara. Tara Mangum. Oh, I'm sure. working out of Texas. That's where I'm born and raised and from, but I'm going to be working remotely quite a bit. I'm traveling with my fiance. He works all over the place. So I'm going to be probably trying to get my uh, out-of-state non-residence licenses as I go and just build my clientele opportunities. Um, I'm here to provide for my future, my retirement. I'm 47. I'm not getting any younger, but I'm all, all about administration. I've done HR, but I've been in accounting for a long, long time, and I'm tired of working with other people's money. I'm ready to build my own. So that's why I'm here. Awesome. Hey, well, thanks for joining us. I completely understand your uh, sentiment. Let's go, let's see, that was Tara. So let's go to Timothy Sanders. Timothy Sanders, are you there? Can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you now. Okay, um, I'm Timothy, I'm from Texas. Um, two jobs, um, hard label, soft label. Hard label keep me in shape, soft label, it's just like vacation. But the whole reason why, well, DoorDash and stuff like that too, but um, I ran across Mr. Eddie Leon um, looking for another job, and I mistake this job for something else. But I was thinking, like life insurance, you know how looking at it, like you know that could be like you know income for life. So you know, I just, I like money, I like helping people, and I like um, you know, I, and you know, he gave like he paid for the course. They started December third. I passed the exam on January the second. And it's on the state review and life and health for Texas. And I just want to uh, uh, make make more money and stuff like so that. You, you accidentally bumped into a great job. There is no doubt in my mind you're going to do really well, particularly if you got Eddie as your MGA. So thanks a lot for joining us. I appreciate that. Let's All go right. to Ronnie Dozier. I'm sure I didn't say that right. Tyrone, Tyrone, help me. How do you <laughs> It's Tierney, um, like Tiffany, but with R's and Dozier, but it's okay. Just call me T. Um, <laughs> I'm from Dallas, Texas. I um, have been in insurance sales since 2019, so life, health, Medicare. I actually was with American Income in 2020. Oh. Um, I was one of the top producers for a little bit. I was with Trace Johnson here in Dallas. Um, mm -hmm. I was an SA, but I... Needed to take a break. Um, well, sure. I thought I, but that was dumb. So I'm back and <laughs> I'm ready to, ready to make some money again. It doesn't matter what happened. You're back now. That's all that matters. I'm, now I'm back. Yeah. You know, family, you're going to find that you're going to make, if you were able to become an essay, you're going to make even more money now. There I'm is ready. no doubt oh, in yeah. my mind. You're going to kill it. Okay. Let's go to, uh, let's go to, I um, know I'm not going to say this right. Tia Coleman. Hi, it's um, Taya. Of course. And <laughs> I'm from California, but I live in Vegas right now, back and forth. I own a gym in California. And um, joining AL for different opportunity, new opportunity. Uh -huh. And I just had a baby. So sorry if you hear him in the background. No, that's great. Congratulations. That's awesome. Thank you. All right. Well, thanks for joining. I appreciate that. Let's go to Vanessa. Uh, uh, Vanessa uh, Abo, close. Abo, of course. Um, hi, my name's Vanessa. I'm from Michigan. Um, I'm an esthetician. I did insurance for about like four years. Um, I just want to make some extra money. Okay, <laughs> I love it. That's great. Let's go to Yosef. Yosef Jarik. I'm probably not saying that right. Yosef, are you there? All right. 
And the last uh, one of the list in alphabetical order, and we're going to get to anybody I missed, the last name I have is uh, Z-A-Y-D. Zad? It's Zaid. Zaid. Okay, Zaid. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, so my name is Zaid Hike. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Um, I've been doing insurance for probably like almost two years now. And I got like a lifetime of retail experience in sales. Family owns a business in retail. So um, I'm just here to learn some new leads for real. Okay, you've been doing insurance with us for two years. Is that what you mean? Um, I was with American Income Life for like my first year, then I left, and then I'm coming back now. Okay, so two questions. Why did you leave? Why did uh, you leave? Well, I, le I left because I moved out the country for a year, so it's kind of okay, hard to no get out the country. And why did you come back? Um, because I know it's a great opportunity. I made money here before, so I know I can do it again. See, that's the best testimony as opposed to me teaching. It's you saying, yeah, I came back to you. I know I can make a lot of money here. So that's great. Thanks for coming back. We appreciate you. So yeah, I just want to do everything alphabetically. Is there anybody that I missed? Okay. Zuri yeah. Reed. Did I pronounce that right? Yep, you did. Um, uh, hey, yo, hey, yo. Um, my name is Zuri. I'm from Alabama. Um, I have a background in uh insurance agent at a general agency um but i only did the auto insurance part of it but uh -huh. worked as an account manager uh, account manager there and uh got a mm -hmm. degree in health and business management and recently just came from a uh, health insurance uh project management job but they had um it was okay. in healthcare contracting and I'm just here because of flexible schedule and hope it works out. Awesome. Well, hey, it will work out. If you're diligent or work hard, you will get compensated very highly and then you'll never want to leave. <laughs> Jonathan Reed, what can I do for you? Yeah, well, I didn't get picked to do my intro okay. just yet. So uh, my name is Jonathan Reed. I live in Palm Bay, Florida, uh, currently retired from the United States Army after 24 and a half years. It's the only sales experience I have is uh, in recruiting uh, while I was in the Army. Did that for about 12 years. Um, looking to have a new career change. Right now, I'm a service manager for a uh, uh, pest, co uh, pest company here in Florida. So just looking for another opportunity. Hey, Jonathan, thank you so much for your service. I am confident not enough people hear that. I know I don't. So from one veteran to another, thank you. Really appreciate the time. You put in. Well, thank you. Ms. Castaneda, I can't figure out how to pronounce your name, so let me try it one time. No, nope, I'm not going to try it. I give up. What's your, how do you pronounce your first name? First name is Rhiannon. Rhiannon. All right, go yes. ahead. Um, so I'm Rhiannon Castaneda. I am from Texas. I have been in the medical industry for basically since I was 16, specifically in sales and marketing the last 10 years. Um, so I come with that sales experience. And I really joined the company because I like sales, but medical sales is not where it's at right now. COVID has kind of exhausted everyone. Mm -hmm. And so I still want to be in sales. I still want to interact with people. And this is an opportunity where I can take um, responsibility for my own income. Awesome. Well, welcome. You will find that you will do well here. Thomas Mayberger. Everything fixed? You're good to go? Go ahead. It, it is Tom, and I'm glad to be here, guys. Um, can you see me? Yeah, we can hear you and we can see you. Okay, great. Yeah, Tom Mayberger. I'm recent transplant to Fort Worth, Texas from Kansas City. Uh, spent a lifetime, uh, like Mario, about 40 years in the healthcare industry, exclusively uh, in the biotech industry, and for the last 10 years in life, or in life health, and accident insurance. Uh, why I'm here to better fund a retirement and fund a legacy for my 23 grandchildren. Oh, goodness gracious. We're going to talk about that at some other time. That's a lot going on there. Do me a favor, Thomas, and anybody else. If you want me to call you by a specific name, put that name in the, uh, you know, in your Zoom profile. Because when I look at the screen, I can't, there's 90 something of you here. I'm just going to call the name that I see there. Like, I got you. Neither one works, but Tom's great. <laughs> Uh, let's go to Elizabeth. I think we got two left and then we're done. Elizabeth Haleski. Hi, you got it right. I'm Elizabeth Haleski. I'm from New Jersey. Looks like I'm the only one on the East Coast. 
Um, I've been with American Income for a few months. I worked with veterans at McGruff, so I'm looking to change to credit union. Um, mm -hmm. And I took this opportunity in the first place because of the uncapped income and the flexible schedule because I am a new mom also. All right. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you joining the class and getting the additional information about the other markets. Joseph, you're my last person. Bring can you hear over. me now, brother? We can hear you. All right. Uh, my name is Joseph Sacria. I've owned a couple of cell phone stores. I have about eight years of experience in sales. Um, I uh, joined because uh, I'm just trying to get a second source of income and, uh, you know, just trying to start something new. All right. That's awesome. Thanks for joining us. I appreciate that. Hey, uh, Troy Plummer, can you hear me? Troy Plummer, can you hear me? All right, well, if he joins us and he can hear us, I'd like to have him say a few words for the class. But anyway, uh, thank you all. I believe I've covered everybody. Is that correct? Everyone has been introduced. Good to go. I believe I was away, but it's okay. No, Yosef, if you're away, we need you to introduce yourself. Go ahead. I'm Yusuf Jarek. I'm uh, from Michigan. I'm in the construction background. Um, just looking for a more flexible schedule. So I'm looking to do this and make some more money. So you are the third Jarek I have. I have Marcus, Joe, and Yusuf. Any chance you guys are related? So I am Joe. I go by Joe. Oh, that's a, that helps. Yeah, I go by Joe. So it's Yusuf is my uh, government name, if you want to call it that. Okay. So do me a favor, Joe. Can you, when you get a chance, change your profile name to Joe? Yep. And that way uh, I won't get confused because I thought you were a third Jarek. All right. Awesome. That's great. So we went through all of that. We watched the video that talked a little bit about uh, American income, globe life, as well as AO. So we have some knowledge along that space. We have two additional videos that we're going to watch. One is going to be about the veteran market, and the other one is going to be about the credit union market. However, we've all sat together now since 9 a.m. It's almost 11, so we're going to take a 10-minute break. Actually, we'll take a 3, 5, and 5 would be 13-minute break. Come back at five minutes after the hour, everybody. Okay? Thank you very much. Okay, so we're back, <clears throat> or at least I'm back. Let's see, who do we got? We got Mark, Jonathan, Kelly, Tom, Thomas, Tom, Devin, Nico, Jade, Hercules, Ricardo, Nick, Abram, Mary, Renee, Morgan, Mohammed, Joseph, Kaylee, Tia, and Ariel. So I'm just going to go through a few people. <laughs> I'm not going to go through all 90 of you. Uh, is there a question? Yes. Uh, oh, you're just saying you're back. All right, Princess. Thank you. Appreciate that. So we're going to be watching some videos. I also sent everybody an email that is considered the day one email. All of you should have received it. And the way that I know that I sent it to you is because you submitted your pre-assessment uh, submittal, right? The form that you had to fill out. So if you haven't filled out that form, that means I don't have your email address, which would then mean you probably don't have the email that I sent you. So we're gonna go through that email a little bit later because there's a lot of stuff in there, but I wanted to make sure everyone know that I sent it. So when I ask about it later, as we start to go through it, if you did not receive it, then we'll figure out how we can get that fixed, okay? But like I said, we're going to watch a couple of videos. But first, we are fortunate to have uh, Troy Plummer with us. And Troy Plummer is one of the folks uh, who's been very successful in our business in AO. He helped create the veteran market. And typically, we don't have people at his level sit in on our training class. But since we do, I'm going to take advantage of that and ask him to say a few words to the class. To, uh, Troy, if you would, we'd appreciate some time with you. Okay, let's try this one more time. Yeah, you can unmute yourself. Why is it not working? Are you there, Troy? Can you hear me? You can hear me, but you can't unmute. Is it you or is it me? It is me. All right, Troy, try it now. There we go. <laughs> All right. Well, good afternoon, everyone. How are we doing? Everybody just give me like head nods and thumbs up. 
since everybody is muted. Um, there's quite a few people on here. Sam, what are the rules? Are we are we getting people with their cameras on? I like I like looking at people's faces, but if I can't see everybody, I understand. Yeah, we, the rule is you're supposed to have your camera on, although we have some people who are working. There's a couple of those, and then some people have technical difficulties, but I think by tomorrow we'll have everybody actually uh, having their camera Okay, well, everyone, I'm super excited to get to address this class. I, Sam, I don't know. This might be one of the biggest classes that I've had the opportunity to sit in on, and when you guys should get really excited. You guys, Would you guys rather be in a class of two people or a class of 90 people? <laughs> I'd rather be in a really, really big class because one, that shows growth. And two, how many of you on here are competitive? Just by like show of hands, raise your hand. Okay, good. I want you guys to look at all of the people on this screen. I don't want you to compete against them, but I want you to utilize each other as effectively as possible. One of the good things about this business is there is nothing cannibalistic about it, meaning for you to be successful does not take away somebody else's ability to be successful. And you guys all know the ra rising tides raises all ships. The more successful that you can be, the better it's going to be for the people around you. So some of you have probably heard me say this before. It's going to start weird, and then I'm going to kind of expand on it. I want you guys to write this down. It is okay to like making a lot of money. I know it sounds weird. People probably tell you that's not always good, but I want you to write that down. And then right below that, I want you to write down, it is selfish of me to not make a lot of money. And the reason that I say that is because this training class is designed to teach you how to work with our clients, how to protect our nation's veterans, how to work with the credit union market, over 120 million credit union members in the United States. Do you guys believe, and I hope you will as you go through training, I believe every penny that I've earned over the last 17 years here represents a family that is better protected now than before I saw them. There's nothing that I can sell one of our clients. There's no product that I can sell them that is not going to put them and their family in a better position. I know I heard some people on here with like, solar and some different things they weren't that excited about in the past and i'm fine with that here there's nothing you can sell somebody that's not good for them so the reason i say it's selfish to not make a lot of money is because that would mean you're not helping a lot of people and i believe you guys are all on here for all the same stuff right flexibility who wants flexibility in their schedule all right who likes being paid every single friday not every other friday who likes earning bonuses 52 times a year as opposed to like once a quarter right? Residual income, all of these, we're all here for the same stuff. And I bet a lot of you have backgrounds in which you've worked individually or in groups with people, and you probably enjoy the feeling of helping people. Are we all kind of on the same page there? Right? So if we're all looking for the same stuff, and we know that we can't sell them something that's not good for them, you guys have to commit to making a lot of money, because that's what our clients need. And that's also what the rest of this class needs is for everybody to be successful. And so when you guys have a money goal in your minds, I always talk about money, Sam, I'm sorry, I'll talk about veterans in a second, but <laughs> we're all here for money. This is not a volunteer position. So my rule of thumb is this, whatever your goal is for money this year, I want you to write that number down. As soon as you've written it down, I want you to look at it for one second, scratch it out, and then double that number. And that second number is what we're going after this year. Because we all come from different positions in which oftentimes people have told us what we are worth, told us what our hourly rate is, told us what our salary is worth. And here, that's just not the case. The case here is we get to dictate our income. And if you choose to make 50 grand a year, we could definitely help you with that. But we're not going to be that excited about it because that means you're not helping that many people. If you choose to make 150 grand a year, we get a little bit more excited about that. But in my opinion, you're still not helping enough people. So 150 for you guys is the base amount of money that you need to start at this year. And it needs to go up quickly. The reason I say that is because 150 grand a year is only $3,000 a week. $3,000 a week is four and a half enrollments 
per week. And who there was somebody who was super excited about free leads. I love that comment. Give me free leads and I'm good to go. Everything's provided for you. So do you think that with our training and our systems and our processes being the number one agency in all of American Income Life this last year, do you think it's fair to say that if I gave you enough families and you could sit down with 12 of them a week, do you think that we could train you to enroll four or five of them with our benefits? Everybody, right? Experience or not. Well, four to five enrollments a week is a minimum of $3,000 a week in your pocket. That means you're going to be on pace from week one to start making 150 grand and it goes up from there. So I really want you guys to utilize this training, be as involved and engaged as possible. There's going to be a lot of technical stuff with HP Pro, which is our presentation software with eApp, which you got to get technical with some certain things. But realistically, you guys already came in 90% trained. Does everybody know how to use a phone? Pretty sure. Does everybody know how to use a computer? You guys are all on Zoom. You've mastered that already. Congratulations. Does everyone know how to read English? And if you don't, we'll put the script into a different language for you. But you guys all know how to read, talk to people, use a phone, and use a computer. So what's left? Left is just getting your presentation down, adding your personality to it, and then committing to a crazy work ethic for your first 60 days. I'm not going to be here and tell you that you need to work 18 hours a day for the rest of your life. But I will tell you, if you want the rest of your life to go really, really easy, you have to go super hard the next 60 days. There's a lot to learn. There's a lot to perfect. There's a lot to grasp. And there's a lot that you need to add your personality into. But I promise you, you figure out how to do that over the next 60 days. The next nine years of your career here before you retire will be as easy as possible to make tons of money. But if you do not get this down over the next 60 days, if you delay the process, the training, you don't have enough role playing, you don't accept less than perfect when it comes to your presentation, when you can get that done, this career becomes very, very, very simple. And then you can create your schedule, make the money when you want to make, work in the morning, work in the evenings, work the weekends, schedule your business around your family and your personal life, because that's the goal that we have here, is to make money and be able to support our families in a very, very nice way. So for those of you in the veteran market, I did have the opportunity to kind of help build that thing two years ago. I don't know if you guys know this, but there's not a lot of 70-year-old veterans that are super familiar with Zoom. Did you guys know that? So it took a lot over that first year after COVID to figure out systems, processes, presentation software, displays, using our VA handbook directly from the VA and building our packages and programs for these veterans in the best way possible. We also would never ask you to do something that we haven't done. Do you guys think that's okay? If I'm going to tell you this is the way you need to present, it's only fair that I know how to do that. And so we'll never ask you to do something that we have not personally done or couldn't show you how to do. And so over 2021 and 2020, I think I wrote about 500,000 of personal production in the veteran market just to prove that it works. And that might sound like a lot, but as you guys are going to realize, that's just consistency. 5,000 a week is 20,000 a month. 20,000 a month is 240 a year. You do that two years, you're at half a million. And so um, we're going to provide you absolutely everything, but this market is blowing up. In 2020, we had one agency on it that did like, I don't know, 800,000 of production. 2021, we put two agencies on it. We did 2.3 million of production. In 2022, everybody was begging for these leads and we closed in on just under 12 million of veteran production. That's over 10,000 veteran households protected in one year, which is a really good start, but we got 21 million veterans to go after. So that's why we need your help. We need you to be selfless and make a lot of money. And for those of you in the credit union market, we took everything that worked in the veteran market and applied it to credit unions. We have our own lead company to generate credit union leads. We have our own public relations team that's going to go out and start closing and getting credit union members across the country. There's 120 million credit union members. There's 21 million veterans. That means between the people on this screen, you guys have access to 142 million clients. And that's not including their friends and family. Because if you think about it, does everybody on here know a veteran, has met a veteran, has heard of a veteran, somebody in their family is a veteran? 
Oh, I bet you if I asked you the same thing about credit unions, if you actually went and talked to people, you guys would already know a bunch of people who are part of credit unions as well. And so if I'm in a credit union like Navy Federal, do you think I want my parents to be in there if I get really good rates? If I get best car loans? Yeah, I'm going to want to get them in. Well, if I'm a veteran and I get access to permanent insurance through a private company, do you think my kids would want to know what dad has as a veteran? My brothers and sisters, my friends and family who know I served, your opportunity gets ridiculous when you can take this training, when you can take this team and the people here to support you and shut your brain off from everything that you've been told in the past, that it's too hard to make money, you have to work all these hours, it's too much of a grind, all this different stuff. We're going to teach you how to make money quickly and efficiently, but you guys have to promise that these next 10 days of training class, you are 1000% dialed in. Do not accept anything less than your version of perfect for everything. If it's a phone call, be perfect at it. If it's building programs and packages, be faster and perfect at it. If Sam gives you the script in a presentation and gives you two options, you can put it on the screen and you could read it while you're presenting, or you could take the time to memorize it and then perform it while presenting. Which way do you think is going to make you the most money? Option two, and for a lot of you who've been in sales, sales is a transference of feelings. If you are not paying attention to our clients over Zoom, you will not form a connection with them. And you cannot pay attention to our clients if you are worried about what you're going to say next. It needs to already be in there. It needs to be ingrained in there. So when you guys have the opportunity to break out into rooms and role play, take advantage of that because this is practice. This is drills. And by next week, it's game time. And I'm going to leave you guys with one thing. I take our clients' lives very seriously. So this is the way that you should test yourself. Is my presentation good enough to go present to Troy's mom and dad or to Rick Altig's mom and dad? Knowing that if I don't do a good enough job, Troy's going to have to pay for all of their funerals. Rick Altig's going to have to cover all their funerals. Would you want you presenting to your mom and dad knowing if it wasn't good, you got to pay for all the funerals? That's how you need to hold yourself accountable to this. That's how you get through this fast with passion and with tenacity so that by next week, is it okay? Sam, I would expect everybody by Wednesday of next week to be able to start booking appointments for themselves, going in the field and begging managers to watch them and critique them. Absolutely. Let's get it done. We are here to support you in every step of the way. Ask Sam every question that you need, no matter what market you're in, you are in really good hands, but everybody... One more time, you got to commit to being selfless. And selfless means you got to commit to making a lot of money and you really got to go hard these next 60 days. And if you can do that, this will be the most successful class, Sam, I think that the company will have ever seen come out of training. Nice. That's here for you, anything you need. And if you know you're going to do really well, then start talking about it now. Because I want to know the type A personalities that are going to have the confidence to text me and say, hey, listen, I'm going to do 30 grand in my first month watch or critique and we'll be here for you every step of the way so sam back to you and i look forward to seeing you guys all next week when you're ready to go thank you troy appreciate that really good stuff interesting thing uh about troy why i bring these people into the class and have a conversation with you he's worked with us for 17 years and you know whenever you talk to a senior leader you know like oh, okay he's been doing whatever troy retired he retired, he made enough money because you can do that here. And then he came back specifically to open up the veteran market and figure out how it's going to work and all the rest of it. And now he's still with us. So the point is, if you want to work for a certain number of years, you can retire here as well and continue to make the renewals and all the additional revenue streams and good stuff like that. So we're going to have Troy, we're going to have a couple other people that have joined us that have done very well in the organization, but every single one of them has started exactly where you are. Actually, they didn't start <clears throat> exactly where you are. They started as a new agent, but they didn't get this training. They didn't get two weeks. AO International has made the decision to invest in this training for all of you, because what we've learned is that if we get you started off right, you tend to make a lot more money. And if you make enough money, you tend to stay. And the longer we can keep you, then the better it is for the organization, the better it is for all the families that you're protecting, just like Troy talked about. So that's why the training is in place. And that's why we do this with you. 
And quite frankly, you're not paying for any of this. You don't pay for the training. You don't pay for the leads. The only thing that I'm aware of that we make you pay for is your badge. That's the only thing that we make you pay for. And I think it's like $26. That's it. Everything else that you have to pay for is part of a business expense for you to operate your business, or it's part of the licensing that's required for your state or any of the other states that you want to get a license in. But other than that, AO doesn't require you to pay for anything. We give you a lot of stuff. Now, in, in return for that, what we expect, as Tori talked about, is putting forth the effort, right? Because it does take effort. Nothing is nothing is, it comes for free, I guess the best way to put it. But the amount of effort you're going to put in here, as opposed to any other job you have, the payoff is absolutely astronomical. All right. So uh, we talked about the fact that I sent an email out to all of you. Okay. So I sent out 88 emails and there are 92 people in this class. If I take Trout, no, he dropped off. Yeah. So I have 92 people and I sent out 88. That means four of you probably did not get my email. So what I want you to do is put your hand up electronically if you did not receive an email from Samuel Sweet AIL at gmail.com. Because I need to make sure you get it. All right. So it was Joshua Sprague. Joshua Sprague. And Amina Hamid. And Devin Gould. And Thomas, Tom Mayberger, you didn't get an email from me? Okay. And Joe the S A K T H R I A and Crystal Davis. So Joshua, Amina, Devin, Tom, Joe, and Crystal. And then looks like Randy. Randy, what's your last name? Abbo. How do you spell that? A B B O. A B B O. And Taya, you didn't receive it either. No. Taya Coleman and James Stallman and. <laughs> Are you talking what? about the email? I'm sorry to cut you off. This is Princess. Uh huh. I'm talking about the email I just sent literally 10, 15 minutes ago at like 11.03, my time. Joe Jarek and Mario. Okay, so there's way too many people who haven't received the email. Did all of you fill out the pre assessment questionnaire? The link that I sent in the chat, did you fill that out? Because if you filled that out, then your email should have been in there. I got it. Um, and okay. I do want to say like the assessment, uh, I talked to Bruno and it was credit union. Okay, that's fine. We can fix that. Okay. Uh, all right. So let's go through this individually. Benjamin Hansel, did you, re did you fill out the assessment? Yes, I did. <laughs> Okay, what's your email address, Benjamin? Hansel, uh, H-A-N-S-E-L. Wait a minute. Okay, now unmute yourself. What does this start with? Ben, B-E-N. B-E-N dot Hansel dot A-I-L at gmail dot com, correct? Yep. Yep, I sent it to you. Check your, check your spam or whatever. Marvin Yunus, did you fill out your pre-assessment questionnaire? I did. What's your email address? Uh, M-A-R-V-E-N-Y-O-U-N-I-S at Gmail. First name, last name. Yeah, so that wasn't in my thing. Okay, hold on. Marvin Yunus, I'm sorry, give it to me again. Uh, M A R. Right, so let's do this. Wait, wait, let's do this because I don't want to go through it. Everyone who raised your hand, what I want you to do is put your email in the chat, just your email address, okay? And then I will send you the email as we're watching the video. This way we don't keep everybody else from moving forward. 
So again, anybody who did not receive an email from me since 11 o'clock Pacific time, put your email address in the chat and I will send it to you, okay? I have a question. Yes. In the questionnaire, uh, it says I have access to these tools, the uh, Mobile Planet, HP Pro, and the eApp. Uh, I know that uh, you said that if you didn't have any to leave them blank, right, or not check them. Uh-huh. Uh, when I don't check them and I press submit. They it, won't check, right? It, exactly. So, it says select this box, select this yeah, box. Yeah, so just go select the app. Okay. And also um, with the health accident license and the coverage for you and your family, it's making me also select yes and no. So do you have coverage for you and your family? I, I mean, I, I answered it, but it's making me select yes and no. Oh, that's all right. Then select yes or no. I'll fix it later. Okay. All right. Well, okay. I, that's why I didn't submit mine yet, but I just no. I just did right now. Okay. No worries. Appreciate that. Okay. All right. So we're going to watch a video. So let me talk really quickly about the two markets. So first of all, we have credit union folks in here and we have veteran folks in here. This course was created ostensibly the first market we did this in was the veteran market. We're now incorporating the credit union market. Here's the good news is regardless of which market you're going to work in when you start, by the time this course is over, you'll be qualified to work in either market. All right. So I'm going to put everybody through the same information per market. The difference is going to be in the scripts. So when you have to do your script, you have to practice. I want you to do the script that I will give you for the credit union market. Those scripts I will give to you tonight, not now. Everybody else I put under the veterans. All of you can learn the veteran scripts, but those of you that are stating that you started off in the veteran market, that's the script you will be tested on. That will be the script that you will have to provide and do. Does that make sense to everybody? Bro, this is a good thing. When you graduate or when you finish this course, you'll be qualified in both markets. You may only have leads in one, that's okay. That just means in the future, if you get to do the other market, you'll already be qualified in that market, okay? So everyone put your hands down unless you have a question for me. Yeah, that way I know not to call on you. Tom, do you have a question for me? I do. They said that I was in the veterans market. So you want me to learn the veteran script or the credit union script? I want you will learn the veterans script. Okay. Yeah. But yep. we will also have information about the credit union and you'll be qualified in the credit union. Gotcha. Well. Okay. Thank you. Clin, Clin, oh my gosh. Clinita? Clinetta? Clinetta. Clinetta. Yeah. Okay. So I wanted to ask is there a separate script for the union members? Yes. Okay. Are you here for the union? Yes. Who's your upline? Um, well, Samuel Ajar. Ajar. Are you a are you a new hire or are you just taking over another market? No, I'm new. I'm a new hire. All right. And I'm gonna give Samuel a very hard time then. But yeah, there's a separate script. I will get that out to you probably tonight as well. Okay. Okay. All right, thank you. No, there's just uh, quite a number of scripts. Oh my gosh, I have questions. Okay, Nick, go ahead. Um, I did get an email, Sam, but uh, it, it was uh, just to, to uh, uh, verify that you had received the assessment. Right, but you didn't get an email from me directly, correct? Well, it said uh, from Sam Sweet, and then it was from, uh, yeah, no, it was not your right. email. It's not from my email address, yeah. So, because you would know, it would say AO International New Hire Class Expectations and all that. So, go ahead and put your email into the chat and I'll make sure that you get it. Clinetta, we're going to talk to Ruth. What do you got for me? Hi, thank you. Um, I just had a quick question. Um, my, um, I believe MGA Ari Hajro gave me a script a while back. So, I've been rehearsing it and it's his old script. So, I just wasn't sure if I'm going to need to memorize. Which um, market the, are you in? I believe Union. Uh, you um, can go with that one if it's union market. You go with his for now. With his. Okay, I just want to make sure. I will send you an updated one that's on the right uh, letterhead and all that kind of stuff, okay? And it will look similar to the veteran one. 
And to my understanding, I would memorize the script and then kind of add my own into it, uh, like personality. I will teach you later. exactly what I want you to memorize. If okay. you follow Troy's advice and you memorize the whole thing, that's great. I don't expect new hires to do that within two weeks. There is a lot of material that you're going to learn in two weeks. What I want you to memorize is going to be the opening. So just so everyone knows, when you start a presentation, just like I'm doing with you now, I'm pretty much going to say, hey, my name is Samuel Sweet, blah, 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 blah. And when I get done with my introduction, when I've established a little bit of rapport, I'm going to say, hey, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you. Okay. Let me know when you can see it. The very next thing I'm going to do is turn my camera off and then I'm going to share HP Pro. So in my mind, that being the case, I only want you to memorize your opening line so that you have eye contact and you have rapport. Everything else after that, as long as you don't sound like you're reading, your camera's off. You're going to sound better if you memorize everything, but I don't expect you to do it within two weeks. Now, in the old days, when Troy and I went through, yeah, we had to memorize 15 pages of information in like four days before we were allowed to go out and meet with people in their homes. Things are a lot different now. I want to make sure that we give you every chance to succeed. So I will tell you exactly what I need you to memorize. And it's only going to be like a paragraph. That's it. Everything else you can read, you just don't want to sound like you're reading, okay? All right, awesome. Caesar, what do you got for me? Um, I have uh, some family that are interested in taking this course also. Uh, when, is the, when is your next class? Sorry, I know it's off subject. No, that's okay. I do this class every three weeks. However, every if you have weeks. to take it, you work with your upline so that way you can get credit for bringing them in. And there's a whole process that goes along with that. It's not very complicated, but I want to make sure you get the right credit and everybody meets the requirements before they attend the course. Is that fair? Got it. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Tom, did you have another question? I did. Sorry. Uh, the computer that I'm on now will use the email that I just put in, tom at okay. maybergerinsure.com. Yep, if you can absolutely. send it to that, I'll get it. Okay, we'll do that. And then Blair... What do you got for me? Hi. Uh, if my upline is Nathan LeBranch, I just want to confirm what market I'm in. I don't know, Nathan. Oh. I don't um, know. You know who your uh, essay, your uh, Nathan LeBranch, is he your essay? Nico says he, you're in. He, he's my, he's my, tra he's my direct trainer. Yeah. So go ahead and put a veteran for now and I'll change it if I need to later. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. And then I think. Tara, yeah, I'll fix that as well, Tara, because I keep a record of all the chats. I go through that. So that's Blair. Lucas, did you have a question? Because you're the last person with your hand up. And then, of course, Princess jumps in there. Lucas, oh, no, do you... sorry. I lower my hand. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> right, no worries. Princess, go ahead. My fault. I was just confirming uh, you was going to change that to credit union, right? Or do I have yeah. to like, put my name? No, no, I will change it. Because I can change all of your answers. So don't worry about okay. that. Gotcha. I just didn't do all 90 all by myself. Okay. So now we're going to watch two videos. The first one is going to be the veteran market. And like I said, if you're not here for the veteran market, it's still good to understand everything about that. And we have to watch the credit union market. Here's the thing. So everyone knows. We have to watch each one of those five times. Okay. It's not because we want to make it painful for you. It's because they take a few minutes and we know there's a lot of information that's encapsulated in each one of those videos. We don't expect you to know everything or remember everything that went on in those videos just one time. So for the first five days of class, every morning, that's what we'll start off with. This morning, we did a little bit different because we had to do introductions and answer a lot of questions. Every For the next four days after this, we'll watch the veteran, and then we'll watch the credit union or the credit union and the veteran. Again, even if you're not in the market that the video is for, it's still good information for you because that's part of what's going to make you qualified. Should you ever get access to veteran leads, you'd be allowed to work in it. Last point in all of this, you can't work in the credit union market or the veteran market unless you qualify. And the way that you qualify is you have to go through training and then you have to present what's called a presentation rubric where you're then graded on how well you present the entire thing to your upline, okay? And last but not least, you will have to send a video of yourself doing the first few sections of your presentation to the home office. Now that doesn't sound as daunting as it is because I'm gonna show you how to do all this stuff, okay?
Okay. It just sounds like a lot because this is the first day, but trust me, I've done this a few times. It is not that much. And all of you are more than capable of doing it. Okay. So no more questions. I'm now going to jump into these videos and start with the credit union video. So just bear with me a second while I share my screen. I'm going to mute everybody and let's watch this together. The credit union market module is intended to give you a clear picture of the clients that you're going to be servicing. So here's what you need to take away uh, from this video. Number one, what is a credit union and how are they different from a bank? Number two, you know, what is the marketing approach with credit unions and how will resources work within the market? And number three, how is your virtual presentation tailored to the credit union market? Now, before we get into the marketing approach and the specifics of the virtual credit union presentation, let's check out a video that's going to walk you through what a credit union is, inform you about the credit union movement, educate you on the history of credit unions, and finally, review the philosophy of credit unions. Go ahead and take a look. Hello, and thank you for joining us today for a look into the credit union movement and philosophy. Today, we will look into four key areas of credit unions. What is a credit union, the credit union movement, credit union history, and the credit union philosophy. First, let's talk about the age old question. What is a credit union? A credit union is a cooperative financial institution owned and controlled by the people who use its services. These people are their members. Credit unions serve groups that share something in common, such as where they work, live, or worship. Credit unions are not for profit and exist to provide a safe, convenient place for their members to save money and to get loans at reasonable rates. Credit unions, like other financial institutions, are closely regulated. The National Credit Union Share Insurance Fund, administered by an agency of the federal government called the National Credit Union Administration, or NCUA, ensures deposits of credit union members at federal and state chartered credit unions nationwide. Deposits are insured up to $250,000. What makes a credit union different from a bank? These financial institutions accept deposits and make loans, but unlike credit unions, banks are in business to make a profit. Banks are owned by groups of stockholders whose interests include earning a healthy return on their investments. Credit union membership varies based on what the credit union stated field of membership is. Many employers sponsor their own credit unions and employees of these companies, as well as their family members can join. Others can be based on your location. If you live, work, go to school, or worship in a certain geographic location, you may meet the requirements of that credit union. Others are group-based. For example, it would be a credit union based on a specific place of worship. Anyone affiliated with that group, regardless of where they work or live, could join. Now we turn our attention to the credit union movement. The first credit union sprang up in Germany in the 1850s and 1860s and were designed to meet the savings and loans needs of small agricultural communities. As the 20th century began, Alphonse Desjardins created the first credit union in Canada to meet the financial needs of poorer and more vulnerable sectors of his community that were often taken advantage of by unethical lenders. Canada's successful efforts profoundly influenced two Americans, Pierre Jay, the Massachusetts Banking Commissioner, and Edward Feline, a Boston merchant. The two men helped organize public hearings on credit union legislation in Massachusetts, leading to passage of the first state credit union act in 1909. Growth in the industry was slow. Fewer than 10 states passed credit union laws. Alphonse Desjardins was instrumental in forming the Canadian and US credit union movements. Besides helping to found the first credit unions in Canada and the US, he pioneered youth savings clubs and school banks to introduce the concept to the youth of the day. Roy Bergengren was an American attorney and pioneer of the United States credit union movement. 
Hired by Edward Feline in July 1921 to head the Credit Union National Extension Bureau, Bergengren carried out an ambitious legislative agenda that resulted in the enactment of the Federal Credit Union Act, the creation of the Credit Union National Association, or CUNA, and the foundation of thousands of credit unions across the United States. The key principles of the credit union movement were volunteerism, self-help, one member, one vote, and the consideration of a person's character as well as net worth. As you can tell, the credit union idea is a simple one. People should be able to pull their money and make loans to each other. It's an idea that evolved from cooperative activities in 19th century Europe. Since that time, guiding principles have remained the same. In 1934, President Roosevelt signed into law the Federal Credit Union Act, which promoted savings and made credit available to a nationwide network of nonprofit credit unions. The New Deal initiative was based on the Massachusetts Credit Union Act of 1909. The legislation allowed credit unions to be chartered either under federal or state law, a policy that remains in place today. The first official Credit Union Day was celebrated on the third Thursday in October 1948. That celebration is now known as International Credit Union Day. In 1970, the Credit Union National Administration became an independent federal agency. Congress also created the National Credit Union Share Insurance Fund to protect deposits at credit unions. The 1970s also brought major changes in the products offered by financial institutions, and credit unions too found they needed to expand their services. In 1977, federal legislation allowed U.S. credit unions to offer new services to their members, including share certificates and mortgages. Credit unions grew tremendously during the 1970s. The number of credit union members more than doubled during the decade, and credit union assets tripled to more than $65 billion throughout the 1990s and into the start of the 21st century. In 1934, when credit unions were helping Americans through the Great Depression, the treasurer of a Midwestern credit union said that credit unions were not for profit, not for charity, but for service. That philosophy holds true today. Earlier, we discussed several different examples between a credit union and a bank. They are all equally important and are worth repeating, such as credit unions are not-for-profit financial cooperatives. They are financial institutions that must generate enough profit to provide dividends to members, to continually improve services and build institutional reserves for the safety and soundness of the future of the credit union. But their mission is social, and credit unions exist to serve their members, not make a profit. Earnings are returned to members in the form of lower rates, higher interest on deposits, and lower fees on services. Federal credit unions are tax exempt, which was established in 1937, affirmed by the statute in 1951, and reaffirmed in 1998 in H.R. 1151, the Credit Union Membership Access Act. This act states credit unions, unlike many other participants in the financial services market, are exempt from federal and most state taxes because credit unions are member-owned, democratically operated, not-for-profit organizations. They are also generally managed by volunteer boards of directors, and because they have the specific mission of meeting the credit and saving needs of members, especially persons of modest means. Credit unions, like all other cooperatives, operate under the seven cooperative principles. These include voluntary membership. Credit unions are voluntary cooperative organizations offering services to people willing to accept the responsibilities and benefits of membership without gender, social, racial, political, or religious discrimination. Many cooperatives, such as credit unions, operate as not-for-profit institutions with volunteer boards of directors. In the case of credit unions, members are drawn from defined fields of membership. Democratic member control. Cooperatives are democratic organizations owned and controlled by their members. One member, one vote. 
with equal opportunity for participation in setting policies and making decisions. Members' economic participation. Members are owners. They contribute to and democratically control the capital of the cooperative. This benefits members in proportion to the transactions with the cooperative rather than on the capital invested. For credit unions, which typically offer better rates, fees, and services than for-profit financial institutions, members recognize benefits in proportion to the extent of their financial transactions and general usage. Autonomy and independence. Cooperatives are autonomous, self-help organizations controlled by their members. If the cooperative enters into agreements with other organizations or raises capital from external sources, it is done so based on terms that ensure democratic control by the member and maintains the cooperative autonomy. Education, training, and information. Cooperatives provide education and training for members, elected representatives, managers, and employees so they can contribute effectively to the development of the cooperative. Credit unions place particular importance on educational opportunities for their volunteer directors and financial education for their members and the public, especially the nation's youth. Credit unions also recognize the importance of ensuring the general public and policymakers are informed about the nature, structure, and benefits of cooperatives. Cooperation among cooperatives. Cooperatives serve their members most effectively and strengthen the cooperative movement by working together through local, state, regional, national, and international structures. Concern for community. While focusing on member needs, cooperatives work for the sustainable development of communities, including people of modest means, through policies developed and accepted by the members. Credit unions continue to look out for their members' interests with empathy and understanding and provide a level of service that is not generally available at other financial institutions, whether it's providing a loan to help a member cover unexpected medical bills, giving financial counseling to a member, or simply offering a better deal on a used car loan. Credit unions make a difference for their members and the communities they serve. Now that you've been educated on what a credit union is, how they work, and the market's history, you know, let me ask you, are you a credit union member? Uh, if you are, great. If you aren't, be sure to research a local credit union in your community and see how you can become a member. You know, just like you being a union member gives you credibility, working in the market as a member of a credit union will do the same. Now, let's look at how credit unions are marketed to. First being the traditional AIL process of direct contact and a meeting with a credit union's leadership, an initiation of a contract and a mailing, which creates response cards for the credit union's membership. This response card is identical to the ones that you may have encountered in other markets, such as unions or associations or even veteran response cards. This includes a notification of benefits letter and a read-off letter from the group and a handwritten response card. Within that same working through the group credit union marketing approach, you will also encounter outside exclusive vendor response cards that will generate the same credit union member response, but will do it through a digital campaign that includes all of the features of a traditional mailing with the amazing advancements that come with a digital response campaign. You will also encounter online response cards that come direct from the membership of credit unions, recognizing that there are over 100 million credit union members across North America. Exclusive vendors directly advertise to credit union members seeking information on how to maximize their benefits through credit unions that they belong to. This marketing process is done utilizing social media platforms such as Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, even TikTok. Finally, there are all of the plus leads that you generate from within the market. The credit union presentation is specifically designed to generate a minimum of eight plus leads per presentation. This will allow you to take your initial company credit union market lead pack 
and allow you to expand your insurance business week after week, month after month, and year after year. Once you have completed your credit union market training and have met all of the requirements to work the market, the resources department will issue you your first credit union market lead pack. You will automatically be put on instant lead distribution, which means depending on how many reciprocal licenses that you may have, you will receive up to one instant credit union market lead per day. Now, you can also qualify for more daily instant credit union leads through your month to date production, which can increase your instant leads all the way up to five per day based on hitting certain production tiers. In addition to all of that, you will qualify for bi-weekly top-ups that are based on your plus lead collection. For every two plus leads you generate, the company will top you up with another credit union market lead. Now, the number of company leads that you can have in your account at one time will have a limit. However, keep in mind, there is no limit to how many plus leads you can generate and have in your account. This system allows you to not only generate AOP, but allows you to access all that Opportunity Unlimited has to offer working solely in the credit union market. Now that you understand how the market works, let's talk about the virtual credit union presentation. The introduction of the presentation is identical to the majority of markets, beginning with displaying the copy of the letter or email that the member received to establish credibility and to outline what the member can expect. There is the normal letter that you would encounter from an AIL credit union, which will have the notification letter, the read-off letter, and will also have their group AD&D certificate. Next, you will have the copy of the email that is received for a member that responds online. This will detail the ad that they clicked on, the benefits that will be covered, and also display the response card image. In addition, you will also have a copy of the sponsorship notification that will be texted or emailed to every plus lead sponsorship. This will display what the client has been sponsored for, as well as the response card image. Now that you've established a connection and have credibility to begin your presentation, the core of the credit union presentation is the credit union survey. This survey is not only a requirement for every credit union and plus lead presentation, but it facilitates the warm up, credibility, and is a seamless transition into all of AIL's products and services. The completion of the survey is the foundation that the relationship with the credit unions is built on. The education of the group's members on all the products and services that the credit union has to offer not only creates a value, but also acts as a potential loan revenue generator for the credit union, which as you know, from watching the video from earlier, making loans and interest from credit cards is the main way that credit unions make money and continue to serve their members. The survey puts you in a position to not only gather information, and help the credit union, it also acts as a resource to make a seamless transition into the insurance presentation. The survey can be completed for both members of credit unions as well as non-members who are sponsored. This allows for you to be able to give the same presentation every time you present within the credit union market. The survey has six main questions, starting from basic information, uh, to what products and services the member uses, such as online or account services, deposit products, and loan products. Asking these questions are simple, but they're also important. For example, asking the member to if they have an auto loan through the credit union, and then you reply, no, well, would you like to see if the credit union could save you some money on that? Well, once they answer you, you would select that they don't use that product. And when they answer yes, you would like to select more info. It's that simple. Now, after you've gone over all of the questions with the member, question five, that's where all the magic of the survey happens. This question is when you will be asking the member if they have been issued their insurance benefits through AIL. Everything from the ad and to the needs analysis survey this is what sets up every presentation transition that you will have. Let's role play a couple of them. Now, have you been issued your AD&D policy through AIL? No? Well, okay, I'll be sure to issue that out for you today. 
Let me ask you, has your financial information guide been issued to you? No? Okay, I'll be sure to get that out to you today. Well, what about your no-cost law last one testament? No? Okay, I'll be sure to do that for you today too. And finally, has anyone completed your no-cost needs analysis and reviewed your insurance benefits? No? Okay, I'll be sure to get that done for you today as well. Now, if you're like me, you can see why there is such a seamless transition into the American Income Products and Services because the survey sets you up to explain all of it. Once you've completed the survey, the next step is reviewing the no-cost benefits. Now, all of the no-cost benefits in this market are the staples of most markets, but there's one benefit that has been updated and tailored to the credit union market, and that benefit is called the Financial Information Guide. With the core of the guide being built from the Family Information Guide and the Will Kit, the Financial Information Guide provides valuable information on financial matters, has a more robust section on financial accounts, but this guide is also unique in that it allows you to edit certain sections of the document, which in turn pushes that information throughout the rest of your presentation, including basic information like names, phone numbers, and emails, and also creates the ability for you to walk the member through their persons to be notified list. The completion of this document for the client not only adds tremendous credibility and value to the client, but it will also generate a minimum of eight sponsorships that are pre-filled by the guide into the Plus Lead Tool, allowing you in a credit union market to simply review the sponsorship program, activate who the client wants to extend the benefits to. From this point of the presentation, you will read the member read-off letter and begin the preliminary medical questions and complete the needs analysis. Within the credit union market, you're able to utilize all of the premium approaches from hour power to dollar a day to need or even monthly. In most cases, you'll be using our power philosophy and providing the member based on the needs analysis, a three product offer, commonly consisting of the A71000 whole life and 10 year renewable convertible term insurance. Now, with all of that said, you now know what a credit union is, their mission, and how they are marketed to, and the structure of the virtual presentation. Now, be sure that you review this video as many times as you need to solidify what you've learned and get the most out of your training. Okay, awesome. <clears throat> so that was the credit union overview. And now we're going to listen to the veteran overview again from Andrew Haskins. So just bear with me and we'll start that right now. The veteran market module is intended to give you a clear picture of the clients that you'll be servicing and the organizations that they belong to. So here's what you need to take away from this module. Number one, what defines a veteran and what are they covered for and entitled to through the VA? Number two, what a veteran service organization is. And number three, how do we market to veterans? A veteran by statute is defined as a person who served in the active Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, or Coast Guard, and was discharged as other than dishonorable. Now, there's currently over 20.4 million veterans across the country, making the veteran market almost one and a half times the size of the entire union market that the company began marketing to in the 50s. Our target senior demographic of veterans between the ages of 60 to 75 alone boasts more than 10 million or a little under half of the veteran population. What's more exciting than just the number of veterans that exist is the opportunity to protect each one of those veterans' families and close relations through the sponsorship program provided through AIL. Every veteran, not only in most cases, always knows another veteran, but also may have a brother or sister or a parent or a friend that they're able to extend their benefits to through AIL as well. You may be asking yourself with that many veterans, well, where are they all located at? Well, in Washington state, there's over 560,000 veterans. In Oregon, there's over 300,000. In California has over 1.6 million. Arizona, over 500,000. 
in Texas, over 1.5 million, in Minnesota, over 320,000, in Wisconsin, over 360,000, Virginia, over 720,000, North Carolina, over 730,000, Tennessee, over 470,000, and that's not even all the territories that we cover and serve as veterans in. What an incredible opportunity that you have to work in this special market. Now, to put this in perspective for how big your opportunity is, let's take a state like Washington. It has over 560,000 veterans, with 397 of those being between the ages of 20 to 69 or 71%. It would take 25 agents averaging 12 presentations per week or 300 presentations in total. It would take those 25 agents almost 39 years to see every veteran and their family in Washington. Now that's just one state with 25 agents and you have access and the exclusive NAO to the whole country. Now, if that's not opportunity unlimited, I don't know what is. Now let's talk about what they're covered for. Burial in a VA National Cemetery includes an assigned grave site, if space is available, opening and closing of the grave, grave liner for casket remains, headstone or marker, and finally, care at no cost to the family. Now, the easiest way to understand that is everything before the cemetery gates, the veteran and their family is responsible to take care of. If they're buried in a state or national cemetery, the VA will take care of everything past the cemetery gate. Now, the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs benefits does not cover all of the funeral or cremation arrangements of honorably discharged veterans. They get up to $300 for a burial allowance if at the time of death, they were entitled to receive a pension. They receive up to $762 for a burial allowance if the death occurs in a VA facility, up to $762 for a burial allowance if their burial in a cemetery is not under U.S. governmental jurisdiction, discharged from active duty because of a disability incurred in the line of duty, or they die in a VA facility. Up to $2,000 for service-related deaths, and veterans' caskets are not free unless the death occurs while on active duty. Now, I know if you're like me, you feel the same way that I do. That's just not enough to take care of their funeral or final expenses for them, let alone their families. But that is where you come in. And your ability to complete this training effectively will be crucial to helping and educate and protect our nation's veterans. If you happen to encounter an active duty veteran member or spouse, it's important to know what life insurance they are covered for. It's called SGOI, or Service Members Group Life Insurance. Every active duty member is covered for $400,000 of term life insurance for the period of active duty and for an additional 120 days after separation or release from duty. Now, SGOI can be converted to VGOI, or Veterans Group Life Insurance, for up to the full 400,000 of renewable term life insurance if full-time SGLI was in place when they separated. If the veteran applies for VGLI within 240 days of separating, they don't have to qualify medically. Outside of that, they have a year and 120 days to apply and qualify medically. Otherwise, VGLI is not available to the veteran. Now, please review the module materials to see the details and the rates and coverages for VGLI and so that you can get the facts and utilize them throughout the presentation, which you'll see in later modules. Now that you know what defines a veteran and how many they are and what they're covered for, let's talk about the organizations that support them. The groups that we work with and also service veterans are called VSOs or Veteran Service Organizations. The three major VSOs are the American Legion, the Veterans of Foreign Wars, and finally, the AMVETS, totaling over 3.85 million members across the U.S. Now, once you know the structure of one of them, you know the structure for all of them. So we're going to focus on the VFW, which is the second largest of the big three VSOs, with 1.6 million members. Now, the VFW represents combat veterans that had boots on the ground overseas for more than 30 days. Along with the VFW, there's an auxiliary to that organization. Now, these auxiliary members are not actual veterans themselves. And in many cases, they are the wives or husbands, sons or daughters of a veteran. The auxiliary's purpose is to help support and transition veterans back into civilian life once they've separated from service. 
spouses, dependents, and survivors are eligible for a presidential memorial certificate, a burial flag, and surviving spouses and children, they may be eligible for burial in a national cemetery, even if they pre-decease the veteran. For the most up-to-date figures and numbers, be sure to visit www.cem.va.gov. To give you a better picture of VSOs and their impact, let's check out a video that shows what happened in the VFW organization in recent years. The VFW's 121st year was marked by challenges like none we have seen before, yet we did not falter. The call for help was unrelenting, and our members remained determined to serve during a time of great need. On July 24, 2020, Hal Roche II was installed as National Commander-in-Chief during a change of command ceremony at VFW National Headquarters. A U.S. Air Force veteran who served in operations Desert Shield and Desert Storm, Commander Roche understood the value of resolve, resilience, and adapting to the situation at hand. All things he commended VFW members for as they stepped up to help during the COVID-19 crisis. In casting his 2020 vision for veterans, Commander Roche called on each of us to stay committed to the VFW's mission and continue growing membership in the nation's largest combat veterans organization. As the pandemic created or heightened hardships, the VFW found new ways to accomplish that mission. Limited in-person interaction moved more opportunities online through events such as the Facebook Live discussion with U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs officials on resources for veterans facing homelessness and a live virtual chat with Medal of Honor recipient Thomas Payne. We even launched Still Serving, the VFW podcast, as one more way to connect with our communities and highlight critical issues and legislation affecting veterans, service members, and military families worldwide. And we've stayed on top of threats to veterans' benefits, such as the rise of VA claim sharks. These unaccredited companies make unrealistic promises regarding help with VA claims and they keep a portion of a veteran's disability compensation as payment for assistance that accredited VFW service officers provide at absolutely no charge to the veteran. VFW posts and members also adapted to life in the pandemic by holding virtual events, along with safely serving fellow veterans and their communities. At every level of the organization, service and camaraderie have illustrated that the VFW is a lifeline for veterans their families, and communities. Primarily through virtual meetings, the VFW persevered on the front lines of vital legislative battles on Capitol Hill. Nothing stopped us from fighting for education, jobs, health care, and better quality of life for veterans as we made the voices of our members heard. The VFW proposed the Digital GI Bill upgrade to bring VA education services into the 21st century. This would improve veterans' access to timely and accurate processing as they complete an education. We also pushed for more assistance for service-disabled veterans and those facing housing issues, reflecting our desire to see all veterans secure employment and economic opportunities. The VFW advocated for more progress in health care for women veterans, including continued needs to eliminate harassment and assault and address a lack of facilities and providers for gender-specific services. The VFW expressed support for H.R. 344, the Women Veterans Transitional Residents Utilizing Support and Treatment Trust Act, which would identify the need for women-specific drug and alcohol dependency treatment and rehabilitation programs through VA. VFW service officers remain steadfast in their efforts to secure the benefits and compensation America's veterans earned and deserve. Our accredited VFW service officers and VFW National Veterans Service set another fiscal year record, 
recovering more than $9.7 billion in VA disability compensation benefits for nearly 550,000 veterans. One of the most urgent concerns for the VFW was toxic exposures. Men and women who've worn our nation's uniform and served in dangerous environments need the care and benefits America promised. They've sacrificed, but too many have been left to suffer as they waited years or decades for benefits, or worse yet, were denied care. Commander Roche demanded Congress take action during the first ever all virtual testimony before the House and Senate Committees on Veterans Affairs. He provided a plan that would establish an independent commission to identify toxic exposures and environmental hazards, evaluate scientific evidence on health conditions and toxic exposures, and obligate the VA to accept toxic exposure claims for the sake of veteran care, regardless of the cost. Toxic exposure for our troops has been synonymous with service for more than a hundred years. But every time we're faced with it, we act as, it's never, as if it's never happened before. A comprehensive system for taking care of our troops exposed to hazards is long past due. The VFW demands that Congress works in a bipartisan manner with the veteran service organizations to develop a comprehensive solution for toxic exposure. We must create a framework that will take care of all past, present, and future generations of veterans. Again, that is long overdue. Right now, the burden of proof falls too heavily on veterans. A new framework to determine presumptive service connection is necessary. The VFW continues to urge Congress to pass reforms. We emphatically support the Comprehensive and Overdue Support for Troops Cost of War Act and the Honoring Our Pact Act currently under consideration. The lives of veterans are at stake. These advocacy efforts reflected the VFW's 2021 priority goals and the legislative battles that must be won for veterans and their families. The VFW provided several artifacts and personal effects to the Defense POW MIA Accounting Agency as part of its promise to help advance POW MIA missions. B.J. Lawrence, Executive Director, VFW Washington Office, met with DPAA Director Kelly McKay to hand over items from VFW members. Shortly after, Secretary of Defense Mark Esper delivered several of these items to the Vietnamese government as a show of goodwill from the U.S. The VFW Foundation proudly celebrated its 25th anniversary. To mark the occasion, the city of Kansas City, Missouri presented Resolution 25, the Veterans of Foreign Wars Foundation Day Resolution. VFW Foundation Board Secretary Treasurer and VFW Quartermaster General Deborah Anderson and other representatives attended the virtual meeting to accept the resolution. With the generous support of our wonderful and loyal corporate partners, the VFW made a positive difference for Americans of every generation. Patriotic middle and high school students received more than $208,000 in scholarships and awards as the VFW named the national winners of its 2021 Voice of Democracy and Patriots Pen competitions. The VFW hosted its first ever virtual parade of winners live on Facebook. The event, sponsored by Twisted X, recognized all state winners of the Voice of Democracy competition, as well as the national Voice of Democracy and Patriots Pen winners. VFW National Commander Hal Roche, VFW Auxiliary President Sandy Onstwetter and Twisted X President Prasad Reddy traveled to Rochester, Minnesota to present 2021 National Voice of Democracy winner Aaron Grace Stokig with the first place $30,000 T.C. Selman Memorial Scholarship Award. Sponsored by VFW Post 1215 in Rochester and its auxiliary, her winning essay on this year's theme, Is This the Country the Founders Envisioned? inspired us to share in a vision of progress that is passed on to future generations. Today, almost 80% of the U.S. population is eligible to vote, and our union is far more perfect for it. But what about that last 20%? Who is left? The children, your children, 
because you, just as the founding fathers and ships full of immigrants before you, are tasked with protecting the future. In addition to a college scholarship, the VFW surprised all of the Voice of Democracy state winners when it announced they would also receive a new laptop, courtesy of Dell. Also featured during the virtual award ceremony was the 2021 Patriots Pen first place winner, Wyatt Perkins. Sponsored by VFW Post 4221 in Lake Portland, North Dakota, Perkins was awarded $5,000. He delivered his winning essay on the theme, What is Patriotism to Me? and discussed how he raised donations for a local food pantry to help during the pandemic. 158 student veterans from around the country were named recipients of the VFW's Sport Clips Help a Hero Scholarship for the fall 2020 semester. Another 160 student veterans were awarded scholarships for the spring 2021 semester. Together, these groups received nearly $1.4 million in assistance. In addition, the VFW and Sport Clips Haircuts teamed up for the first ever virtual VFW Sport Clips Help a Hero Walk, offering supporters a new way to engage with the Help a Hero campaign. It was a huge success and raised just over the $1 million goal. To date, $8 million in scholarships have been awarded through this program. The VFW is grateful for Sport Clips' ongoing support for veterans' higher education needs. The pandemic couldn't stop 300 Burger King franchisees from raising critical funds for the VFW's Unmet Needs Program. In the 14th year for the campaign, participating restaurants asked customers to donate to the program with their purchase and help prevent circumstances such as hunger and homelessness. Since 2007, Burger King franchisees have raised more than $6 million for this vital program. To date, Unmet Needs has awarded more than $12 million to nearly 11,000 service members, veterans, and their families since 2004. Ace Hardware collaborated with the VFW again to give away 1 million American flags to honor men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country. Customers who visited a participating Ace store received a free American flag. A second flag was then donated to a local VFW post to be used for decorating veterans' graves on Memorial Day. The VFW joined forces with Team Red, White, and Blue. This opened the door for organizing more virtual and local opportunities aimed at connecting veterans through physical wellness and social activities. Some things changed due to COVID-19, but the VFW's enduring spirit of service did not. It was on display as members helped fellow veterans and their communities. The Still Serving campaign, which began right before the pandemic, took on deeper significance as it became a vehicle to share the ways veterans rose to the challenges at hand. VFW posts and members conducted buddy checks, food and blood drives, PPE distributions, and much more in the face of this invisible enemy. After a year filled with difficulties, the VFW and its membership emerged stronger than ever. Just as we have for more than a century, we stayed true to our mission, relentlessly fought for veterans to get the benefits they earned and deserved, and brought hope to people across the country. We demonstrated that we never give up and that veterans represent the best of America. We are still serving. We are resilient. And we're proud to say we are the veterans of foreign wars, and no one does more for veterans. Wow, what an amazing organization to partner with on the state level to educate and protect our nation's veterans. Now that you have the understanding of what a veteran is covered for and entitled to, as well as what a veteran service organization's role is, now let's explore the marketing and mailing process. Let's start with AIL's process. The marketing process to a veteran service organization is the same as how unions and other associations are marketed to. An AIL public relations representative will reach out to a VSO's leadership, such as a quartermaster, a state adjutant, or a commander. Once a virtual or in-person meeting is scheduled, an initial explanation of what AIL can offer the group's leadership is presented. 
Once the decision maker is on board, they are presented it to their board and get final approval. Once approved, a contract between the group or what's called a TG is signed and a coverage amount is put in place on all members. A letter and a beneficiary reply card is created and the decision maker's signature is put on the final artwork and letter. Once everything is finalized, the entire membership is mailed. The response cards are received by home office and they are data entered. They are then routed to AO and loaded into our system for you to call on. Now, that marketing process I just described built the company since 1951 and has continued to provide resources to associates to this day. But innovation is what drives AO. And AO partnered with a company called Lead Lab to bolster and support growth. This marketing process takes the best practices of what the company has been doing since 1951 and then applies it to current technology and goes straight to the veterans through Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, allowing veterans that don't belong to veteran service organizations to get access to the same benefits. Once a veteran responds uh, to one of the social media platforms for a no-cost burial and will kit for veterans and their families, they are sent two emails. One, a confirmation email, and the other an email informing them of an agent of American Income Life will be reaching out to them. The amazing part of this marketing process is that all veterans are covered for the same benefits. So whether you see them through a VSO, like the VFW, or you see them through an online response through the Lead Lab, our products and services will always make sense for every veteran family you see. You know, this market is special and unique, and you should want to hold yourself to the highest level of professionalism to give the veterans and the families you service the best possible experience. Your knowledge of veteran issues as well as coverages is so important to connecting with veterans virtually. Now, be sure to watch this video as many times as you need to solidify what you've learned and get the most out of your training. All right, good stuff. So we now have gone through the credit union overview as well as the veteran market overview. All right, so uh, let's see. Amina Daher, can you hear me? Which market are you in? Amina, can you hear me? Can anybody hear me? Okay, somebody can hear me. Okay, so Nico, what market are you in? So you got a mute problem. Oh, maybe I haven't unmuted everybody. Maybe that's my problem. There we go. So let's go back to Amina since I wasn't being fair to her. Amina, can you hear me now? Yes, I am. I can uh, I can hear you. Um, I'm with the veteran market. Okay, so what was your takeaway out of that video? Just the number one takeaway from that video for you. Um, connecting with your clients um, and having something to um, connect with them about, like understanding veteran issues and the veteran market is super important. Okay. Uh, who's in the credit union market? Somebody. There you go. Dave Garnett. What was your takeaway from the credit union market overview video? Um, the expansion of the um, family information guide to mm -hmm. uh, include more in depth about um, uh, their assets and whatnot so you can get a better sense of um, what they actually need. Yeah, absolutely. It definitely helps us. And we're gonna go through that uh, together as a group. All right, so we've done the videos now. We've got about 30 minutes left. I wanna go over the email that I sent everybody because I believe now everybody should have the email that I sent. This would be the day one email that talks about expectations for AL International New Hire class. Does anybody not have that email from me? All right, perfect. So everyone has it. That being, oh, we have one person's hand raised. Yes. Tara? Yeah. Yes, I, the only email that I've received from Samuel Sweet says we have received your response on the preliminary aptitude assessment. 
I have not, not received anything else. Okay, so Tara, your email is mangum1009 at gmail.com, correct? Yes, that is correct. Yeah, I emailed it to you just a few minutes ago while the videos were being played. Okay. I will continue to look for it. Thank you. Yep, absolutely. Uh, that being the only person, she'll let me know. I'm going to put it up on the screen so we can go over it together and make sure that we all understand what it means and actually what it is missing. So let's do this. There is my screen. Let's try to share it with you all. I love how nothing goes fast. I wish everything was fast. So everyone should have got an email that looks like this. Can you see this email on your screen? Anybody? Perfect. Okay, so let's go through this. So first of all, your new hire class 22 does not 22 does 018. This is an old version. You are class 23 does 001. You are the first class for 2023. Okay. And the Zoom room and the Zoom code is there in case you forget it. Here are the call outs. We expect you to be on time for every session. So to me, being on time is actually being early, right? So to be early is to be on time, to be on time is to be late, and to be late means that it wasn't a priority. Uh, it's not the end of the world. If you are either gonna be late or you can't make it to a class, I'm expecting you to send me an email telling me that you can't make it, okay? That's all I want. Just send me an email saying, hey, I can't make it, whatever. Now, if something comes up, it's an emergency, I totally get that, your upline should know, okay? So that's number one. Number two, we expect you to attend training session for all 10 days. You heard Troy talk about that. It's going to take us 10 days, particularly with class of this size, to go through all the information. Now, we are going to do breakout rooms so we can make it a little bit smaller. We're going to do a lot of practicing and going through things. We definitely are going to do that. But I need you here for all 10 days. And if you can't be here for all 10 days, uh, we record this and we put it up onto our YouTube channel every single evening. So you can look at it, okay? So we typically run from 12 p.m. Eastern time to 4 p.m. Eastern time. However, on day two and on day eight, we run six hours. So day two is tomorrow. Day two is HP Pro Day. All right? That's a six hour day and it could be longer. It's up to you and your uplines if they want you to break off and spend field time with them. I'm totally fine with that. But the reason it's so long is because I have to teach you how to use HP Pro. You all need to access it. And it takes a little bit of time to figure out what I want you to do. Okay, so tomorrow will be a longer day that we will spend together. Day eight, is eApp. So think of it this way. HP Pro is the tool that we use on Zoom to present information to the client. eApp is the tool that we use that once a client says, yes, I want to buy, we then actually fill out the application with the client. So in your mind, the client doesn't see you at all when you're using HP Pro. The client does see you when you're using eApp. So that makes sense to everybody. Does anybody use a Mac, an Apple computer? Okay, so if you use an Apple computer, be aware that eApp needs to be loaded into a Windows environment. So it can't be loaded directly onto a Mac and nor can you access it through a browser. It's actually software that gets loaded into the Windows environment. So if you have a Mac or an Apple and you want to continue to use it to use eApp, you're going to have to set up a Windows environment and you can download software uh, from Parallel, P-A-R-A-L-L-E-L, -L -L, and that will do that for you. Uh, we don't support Macs, just so you guys know, we support Windows. Everything we do is through Windows, okay? If you use a Mac, uh, I can send you an email that has the Parallel link and all that, but we do not support getting it to work, that's going to be completely on you, okay? Now, if you can't attend the class for any reason, you're going to let me know, uh, and you send it to me, email rather to me, eApp. Keep in mind that in order for you to be released 
and released means being given leads to sit down with actual clients that aren't referrals of your own, but leads that are given to you by the company. You need to attend the full course. You need to pass the course. You need to pass your presentation rubric, and you're going to have to upload your first part of your presentation in terms of a video. So I'll walk through all of that with you. None of this is daunting, just the requirements that the home office has in order for you to work both in the veteran market as well as the credit union market, okay? I need you all to exhibit a positive attitude in class and dress in business casual attire. What that means is the same way you're going to see clients is the way you should show up here with me, okay? Now, I wear a white shirt and collar, long sleeves every single day. Potentially, I'll wear a jacket if it gets cold in here. I'm not saying you need to dress the way that I'm dressing, but you will need to dress in a business casual attire. And if you're not dressed in business casual attire, uh, you'll hear from me. We'll just chat and be like, hey, you know what? I can't have you doing that. All right? That's just for the class. What you do after that when you're meeting with clients, well, no, that's between you and your upline. Okay? Uh, complete all homework assignment if and when to sign. We will have homework in this class, and there will be things that we do. Now, I stick around after the four hours of classroom instruction time, and if I do that and you do the homework with me, then you don't need to send it to me because obviously I'm seeing you do it real time, okay? But again, that's up to you and your upline if you take the time to do it. In my mind, you're working an eight-hour day, four hours are in the classroom, four hours are with the field except for day two and day eight. But if your upline says, yeah, it's okay, you can spend more time with Sam, I can then work with you on the homework and, on, and helping you learn EAP a little bit better and or HB Pro, okay? So once the morning session is complete, like today, I will send an email to the leadership letting them know you've been released. So whatever time we're done, let's say we're done at one o'clock my time, four o'clock on the East Coast. If I say that we're done and we're letting you go, I won't send an email out for 15 to 20 minutes letting the upline know you're available, just to give you guys a little bit of a break. Typically on a four hour day, I'll take a 10 or 15 minute break right around 11 a.m. my time. And then I'll continue to push through through the rest of the day. I can't take a break every single hour. I just don't have the time, the bandwidth, literally. We have so much we need to get through. Except for the longer days, I will probably then take a few more breaks. However, for all of you, if you need to take a break for whatever reason, uh, I think I've seen some of you do it. Just put, you know, BRB. Uh, I don't need to know what you're taking a break for. And then turn your camera off and then come back when you're ready. So nothing says you have to have, be here the entire time. I'm afraid that I want you here the entire time. But if you need to take a break for whatever reason, feel free to do that. Okay. Uh, after the morning session, I already talked about what I'm going to do there. I want anyone to ask questions. Now, the best way to ask me a question is to raise your hand digitally. Okay, if you don't raise your hand digitally, first of all, I can't see you if you're doing this because there are 93 people in here or 92 of you. There's no way I'm going to see multiple screens of folks because I can only show 40 or 50 at a time. Fair enough. But if you raise your hand digitally, I get notified that someone has a question. Okay, so please do that. Please ask questions. If it's something I don't get to, you can put it in the chat, and if somebody else in the class knows, certainly you can respond to that, okay? We're an immersive group. We're working together to achieve a goal. If we can help each other, that's great. Uh, what I'd like all of you to do is click on the AO International Training Channel, just like I'm about to, because I want all of you to subscribe to this channel. Let's see if I can show it up on the screen here. And there you go looks like that. And there's me yapping about whatever, right? Training channel. Here on this channel, we talk a lot about both the art and the science of sales. Okay. So what that means is every single uh, day in the evening, I spend the time to edit the video that I recorded on Zoom, and then I upload that into the channel. What I need all of you to do is actually, uh, what is it? Subscribe to the channel. This way I know that even if I don't get a chance to send an email out saying the uh, video is available, you'll get notified of it. Now you can see that I have multiple playlists. So class so-and-so and such and such, you are now gonna be the next playlist and the playlist will be uh, AO International New Hire Class 23 
dash zero zero one. And you did find the email in your junk folder. Way to go, Tara. I love it when a plan comes together. Any questions about this particular uh, YouTube channel? Let me go back and see everybody. Does everybody know how to use YouTube? Does anybody not know how to use YouTube? Yes, I see yeses. Okay, so everyone knows how to use that. If you leave class early or you're going to come to class late, you can watch that. Now, on the two days that are the most intensive, which are going to be HP Pro Day and EAP, not only will I upload that video, but I'll also put a link of a video that I have already put onto the YouTube channel that's time stamped. So the beauty behind that is you'll be able to then see all the timestamps associated with that particular day, and you can jump to any point in the timestamp. So if you think about it, if it's a four or five hour day, I had to spend another four or five hours re-watching re the video and then stopping it and putting in all these timestamps so that you will then have the ability to click on wherever you need to go. All right. So I found that it's extraordinarily use useful for people because we do spend a lot of time together. We cover a lot of information and I want to make sure that you can get to it fairly quickly. All right. The next thing is key websites. So on the key website idea, you have HP Pro 3.0, 3.0, uh, all of you should be able to click on it and get to that website. It should look like this. When you click on that link, it should look like this. If you have a, your username and password for Planet Altic, which should have been given to you by your upline, if it hasn't been given to you, you should get it tonight. That same password and login will allow you to log in right here. Okay, so you, all you would do is you type in your name, which is gonna be always be your first and last name and then your password. And then you can log in to this screen and that's where we start the training. Okay, we're not even gonna go into the scripts yet, whether they're phone scripts, whether the presentation scripts based on the credit union or veteran market. First and foremost, you need to see what the tool is that you're gonna be using 90, well, 60, well, for using 100% of the time to do presentations. EAP, you probably will use anywhere from 30 to 40% of the time because not everybody buys, right? But everybody that you present to, you are required, regardless of which market you're in, you're required to use HP Pro, okay? So uh, let's go through the next one, Planet Altic. Planet Altic looks like this. And you can type your name in here as well. The same login and password would work. And when you log in, your screen will look like this. Okay. May or may not have your picture up here, but all this information would be the same. The stuff on the left-hand side will be different for you as, than me. Because your new agent's coming in, there's going to be certain things you don't have access to. We're going to go through all of that together. Um, not right now, but later. Okay. Next thing is uh, Mobile Planet, which is almost the same thing as Planet. The difference is Mobile Planet looks like this. It uses the same login. And again, we're going to go through everything together. So I know I'm going through it fairly quickly. We will spend time on each one of these items. But if any of you wanted to take the time and look at it before we get there, that's totally fine. This is Mobile Planet. This is what it looks like on your computer. You can also download Planet onto your phone, which is what 100% of students do when they first start out because you'll be making phone calls from your cell phone. Okay? So you can download the Mobile Planet. I think on... Uh, on Google Play, it's called Planet Altig, and I think on uh, Apple, it's called Mobile Planet. But once you download it, get on there, exactly the same login will work there as well as on the computer. Then you have the Agent Resource Center. We're going to go through that. This is going to be information that will be available to you that you can take a look at. The AO Pro Shop <clears throat> is where you can buy uh, swag if you wanted to wear a AO branded polo shirt, long sleeve shirt, anything like that, you can get that stuff there. The Globe Life Store, uh, which AO is part of, and to reiterate, Globe Life is up here. It's the largest insurance company in the world. 
And Globe Life has a wholly owned subsidiary, which is called American Income Life. Under American Income Life, you have AO, which is the largest distributor of American Income Life products. And below that, you have AO International, which is the number one team within AO. So AO Pro Shop, you can get AO branded material. Globe Life, you can get Globe Life branded material. The next one down here is your badge. As soon as your state gives you a license, and a license number, you are required to order a badge. And so you just oh, click on it. You just click on it. You go to this uh, <clears throat> screen right here, and you will order a US ID badge with lanyard. Ooh, the shipping is free. You can order two if you want. And again, that'll look like this. That has a lanyard. And it'll look like that because one of the requirements that you have, you have in order to sell is you wear this around your neck and then you present this to the client, thereby building credibility that you're actually authorized agent of American income. Yes, Ruth, what can I do for you? Hi, thank you. Um, I was wondering, are there any... Um... Uh, for the picture, are there any restrictions on it? Um, well, well, the, the, <clears throat> sure, let me talk about that. So the picture I have is kind of a professional looking picture. It's on my email and all that good stuff. You can use any picture you want, but it has to be approved by AO. So what will happen is you, you, if you send a picture up that isn't approved, it'll kick it back. You know, it's how you need a professional shot. You don't have to spend money and get a headshot. Just take a good professional looking picture that's going to go on your badge. And if uh, I were you, I would use that picture and all of your branding stuff. Anytime you talk about your job, use that same picture so you have a consistency in messaging. Does that answer your question, Ruth? Yes, uh, it did. Thank you. Awesome. Javis, what can I do for you? Um, so like, what if you don't have money to buy your badge, but you work like, and after I finish this, I work and get my first paycheck. Can I buy my badge? Yeah. Yeah. Just let your upline know that you're in a situation right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Get the badge. Remember, it's like 26 bucks and your upline will help you uh, navigate that. Okay. Okay. Yep. No worries. Nick Ferrer, what can I do for you? Nick? Nick, are you there? Can you hear me, Nick? Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. All right, we just can't get your thing to work. You want to put it in the chat? Put your question in the chat and I'll take a look at it. Okay, the next one on here is creating your email signature. Now, if you notice, my email signature looks like this, right? I have my picture. There's some other things on here as well. You can click on this and it will take you to a place that you can spend time. Or, sorry, you can pick a time to meet with me. So I use Calendly and we can talk about this in the future. This is something that I've added. Not everybody has this, but basically all the markets I sell into, if you want to get training, if you want to get recruited, I can. you can click on any one of these, okay? That's part of the process of my signature. You don't necessarily need to do that. I did include my picture because I want people to see who I am. And then I have another thing called Upgrade Your Career. This is for recruiting. It's under Linktree. And then somebody can come in here and get all the information based on our Facebook, twi Twitter, AO Careers, videos, Spanish-speaking portion of our business. If you're a policy owner, you got a question for me or if you want to schedule time with me. All of that's available. But for you, we're starting out, you want to have something that looks like this, which is going to be your signature. And if I click on it, it'll take you to this page here, which will give you a free email signature generator by CloudHQ. You can use it if you want, you can create your own, it's entirely up to you, okay? But you will need to have some sort of um, professional looking uh, signature. I try to wear my badge when I go to pay for it, it's not taking your login. Yeah, work with your upline, Nick, and they'll make sure that you get sorted on that, okay? Javis, did you have another question for me? What if you already have an email signature by your then email? Work with your upline and make sure that the signature you already have is a, you know approved, so to speak, by them. Okay. okay. Yep, no worries. So the next thing we have are all the attachments. So let me get this out of the way. I, didn't, I did not include any attachments for the credit union market yet. Okay, I will get that out to you tonight. 
But for all the rest of us and for the credit union market, the concept is the same. You've got the AO International New Agent Packet, which has tons of information in there, regardless of what market that you're in. I need to clean that up and only show uh, the AO International, forget about the markets. So we're going to do that. Then you have the veteran phone scripts. So you've got PAVIT response card. So PAVIT stands for the name of the company that we use as the lead gen, and then VET stands for the veteran market. Then you have RC, which is return card or response card, and again, the veteran market. And then referral is going to be when you call somebody who is referred by one of the veterans that you spoke with. Credit union market is the same thing. Okay, you just won't have those nomenclatures. I will also include those phone scripts later tonight. Okay. So there should be three phone scripts for both markets, and then there will be phone script rebuttals. You need to order your badges once you are uh, once you have received a license from the state that you're a resident in, because in, because you need to put the license number on the badge. So you can't order if you don't have a license number. Okay. Uh, so that's one and two, and we're going to go over those scripts. We're going to learn that. However, that's not the most important thing yet. Just know we're going to get there. And then you have the AO International Veteran Presentation Script. That's an actual script that's the presentation. That is the presentation that you will have to give to your upline and be graded on, okay? Obviously for the credit union, you have a separate script altogether. Again, that's gonna be given to you tonight. And then for veterans, you got the burial guide and will kit for veterans. For uh, the credit union market, you won't have the burial guide, but you will have the will kit and the financial um, information guide. Okay. Reference files. We have the AO International New Hire Training Syllabus. So that way you know uh, <clears throat> what you're going to do every single day and if we're going to have a guest speaker or not. Okay. Then you have the rubric itself. And the rubric is where we give you uh, the grade based on how well your presentation goes. Okay. So that rubric is designed to help people understand what it is that they need to be doing in a way that allows them to successfully navigate their way from point A to point D for the scripts, whether it's credit union or not, okay? And I'm going to walk through that with each one of you. Then you have the AIL summary sheet. This is a sheet that you should always send to your clients upon successful submission of their application, okay? It will tell them what they just bought from you. The next thing is the policy service file. That is another file that best practices, you include that in the email that you're gonna send subsequent to your presentation and successful submittal of their application. It includes things like uh, just information about American income. It includes information about submitting a claim, things of that nature. You can look through all of this stuff later this evening if you want. We're going to be going through all this throughout the course. And then last but not least, for those of you in the veteran market, I created something called a military insurance breakdown. So you get some idea of what a veteran had available to them when they were on active duty, as opposed to where they're at now. So some veterans, we heard Andrew Haskins talk about the fact that they had a $400,000 term life policy that they were allowed to transition into, or rather from a uh, service person's group life insurance into a veteran's group life insurance policy. So that uh, military insurance breakdown tells us what do they need to do to qualify to do that and what the cost breakdowns are relative to the fact that the term policy renews every five years and the cost goes up. So we're going to break that down for each one of you. Javis, do you have another question or is that your hand raised from before? Yes, sir. Um, when this is over, like, would this be on the YouTube channel at night? Hello? Um, yeah, Javis, I'm not sure I understand what you're asking me. When the session is over today, like, is, is it going to be on the YouTube channel? Yeah, it will be later this evening after every day that the course runs. I have to download the Zoom recording. I then have to edit it. And then I will copy it up to the YouTube page. And then I'll send an email out to all of you, letting you know that the video is available for you guys to watch. Okay, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we went through all the pieces. Of
and all the attachments on the file. Uh, again, my apologies to the credit union class. We will get that out to you hopefully tonight with all of your stuff specific to your market. We talked about the call outs up here, the expectations <clears throat> of being on time and sending every training class, letting me know if you can't make it. Participating and exhibiting a positive attitude while dressed in professional business attire, completing all the homework, and then letting your facilitator know that, hey, I've been released. Right. So if I finish with you today at one, my time, I won't send the email out to at least 115, 120. But all of your trainers are going to, well, some may, but they're not expected to call you to see if you've been released. The expectation is that you're going to call them. Okay. Because they have a lot of people. So you're not the only person that they're responsible for that they need to train, or maybe they're trying to sell on their own. I have no idea. Okay. They have a lot going on. Uh, three, two other things I want you to know. Number one, <clears throat> you are expected to make, <clears throat> pardon me, 300 outbound dials by the end of Thursday of next week. 300 outbound dials. Crystal Davis, how many dials do you think you're expected to make every day once you're released? You say every day once I'm released? Um, at least 100. Yeah, it's more like 250, 250. 300. But when we show you what that looks like, it's not overbearing, okay? It's not something you're like, oh my God, I'm never going to get there. But in the class, I don't expect you to make that many calls per day because I haven't taught you how to do it, how to record the fact that you made the call or even the script that I want you to follow, how I want you to sound. That takes time. However, every single day, you're gonna fill out a survey just like you did today <clears throat> that has what we call the DRB in it. It's a DRB report. <clears throat> it stands for dials, reached, booked. How many people did I call? How many times did I dial the phone? How many people did I actually talk to? And then of those people, how many did I actually book, <clears throat> pardon me, with an appointment, with a presentation? Okay. We fill that out every single day starting tomorrow. Again, I don't expect you to make any dials tonight, but as time goes on, you will start making dials. There's two other pieces to that report, and that is presentations and sales. In addition to making 300 outbound calls by next, a week from Thursday, we also expect you to observe 10 sales. So what that means to me, a sale is when the agent uses DocuSign to execute the application. So if I'm talking to a veteran in their family or a credit union member in their family, and you're observing me, that's considered a presentation. You're observing a presentation. That counts as one. It doesn't count as a sale unless that person buys and executes the application via DocuSign. And you'll know that that happened because the agent will keep them on the uh, Zoom until that happens if they're actually buying. Does that make sense to you, Devin Gould? Yes, sir, it does. Okay. 300 outbound dials by week from Thursday, 10 sales observed a week from Thursday. Now, the last class I had <clears throat> was because of the holiday break. It was kind of a mess. <clears throat> they weren't able to do that. I'm in fully anticipating that we will not have that problem with this class. <clears throat> Pardon me. Your uplines are aware of those requirements. So if I'm a student in this class, here's what I think I'm going to be doing. I'm probably going to read as much of the information that I had, uh, that I received as an attachment to the day one email. I'm going to show up for class every single day on time. And as soon as I'm released, maybe 15, 20 minutes, give myself something to eat or a little break, I'm going to reach out to my upline and I'm going to say, I've got 300 dials I need to make and I need to watch 10 sales. How do I do that? How do I get started on that? And then every day I report how well I did with that. Okay. Yes, Anthony, well, how can I help you? Um, so as far as priority, do you already have like a list of what like should be priority for us? Or is it just kind of go through the email and pick and choose what you want to start learning? Um, oh, I see what you're saying. 
Well, I will teach you all of it every single day. It's up to you what you want to get through. If it were me, the mo the thing that I think was going to take the longest to understand is the presentation. I would start to familiarize myself with the presentation. If you are in the veteran market, I want you to memorize A1, which is very, very short. If you're in the credit union market, you're going to memorize A1 as well. I just have to get you the script. Okay. But yeah, that would be the one that I, because I need to be familiar with that because there's a lot in there. And really, it looks daunting. I think it's like 15 pages. But the reality is, as you start to do it, and we use HP Pro to walk through it, you're going to find that it's not very hard to do. Okay. But yeah, to answer your question, I would probably take a look at the presentation script. Yes, Rose, Rosalia. I got it right this time. Rosalia, how can I help you? You did, yes. Um, so you mentioned that the e-app doesn't support MacBook? That's correct. So how do I get that downloaded? So you can go to parallel.com, P-A-R-A-L-L-E-L.com. And it's software that basically helps create a Windows environment on your Mac. Once you have that set up, then you can download eApp into that Windows environment. What's the website again? Can you repeat that? P -A uh, it's parallel, the word parallel.com. Oh, okay. And you don't have to use parallel. What you're, you can use any software that emulates a Windows environment on a Mac. Gotcha. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Anthony, your hand's still up. Do you have another question? No, I was just being incompetent. Sorry. <laughs> you were not being incompetent. It's all good. Okay. So we went through a bunch of stuff today. Tomorrow's going to be a very long day. I will tell everyone that you're available 20 minutes past the hour. Uh, I'm going to stick around for a few minutes. If anybody has any questions they didn't want in front of the class, it's completely fine. Have a chat with me. If, in fact, uh, you don't have any questions, then you are free to go. And every single day, I will open the class by saying, you know, how are we doing a AO International Hire Class 23.001? And then at the end of every day, I'll say, hey, I will see you tomorrow <clears throat> at 9 a.m. Pacific time. And the reason I do that is because when I edit this thing, I have to make sure I hit all my marks appropriately, okay? So for everyone here, thank you very much for joining. Your uh, upline will know in 20 minutes that you've been released. Feel free to reach out to them at any time if you wish. I will see all of you tomorrow at 9 a.m. Pacific time. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great evening.